All right. Greetings, foolish mortals. Tis I, Cat, with our special friend. Yo. Ark. And, we are, <laughs> and instead of doing Yakuza like I promised I would be doing, we are going to go old school. Because I have died and resurrected now, we are doing Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines, a classic game from... 2004. It's old. <laughs> with the special fan-made patch that is still worked on to this day. Mm-hmm. This game is based off of the tabletop game called Vampire the Masquerade. Yes, a game that started in 1991, and in fact is a uh, pretty landmark in its design considering the fact that uh, for the longest time games were based off of D&D, &D, but this game kind of set a trend. So it is like the Pathfinder. Uh, it would be more correct to say that it's up there with D&D. &D. Ah. This, is, this game didn't really follow on the tails of Dungeons and Dragons. It's more of a trendsetter. Ah. So Any game that's more or less like... Now, that's not to say that there wasn't games that were based on urban fantasy or gothic fantasy or stuff like that. But this is the game that kind of uh, made it more mainstream. This was uh, the flagship game of The World of Darkness. Like I said, it came out in 1991. Followed then after uh, by Werewolf the Apocalypse, Mage the Ascension, and a whole bunch of other games. The World of Darkness game line came to an end in 2014 with the Time of Judgment. Or not 2014, but 2014. It has uh, been too long, and I'm still half awake. So anyway, yeah, 2004. <laughs> and then from there, they restarted the World of Darkness. They originally called it New World of Darkness, but eventually rebranded as uh, Chronicles of Darkness. And the old world, or classic World of Darkness, just continued to be called World of Darkness. This is why I brought him onto the ship, onto the stream. <laughs> I have forgotten a lot about this setting, so. You will know yeah. more than me. All I Mom. know about Vampire the Masquerade is the 2000s goth aesthetic, which is why I got this game. <laughs> well, I mean, that is kind of... Well, okay, yeah, because this game is very much a product of its time. Yes. And, uh, and the cat is uh, hacking up a hairball. It's easy. Anyway, continue. Yep. No, as I say, this game is very much, like, some might argue it's not a product of its time, but considering the fact that it started in the 90s and the aesthetic is very much there. Oh, yeah. In, in World of Darkness, a big running theme of the game lines was the fact that uh, the end was coming, which given the fact, you know, the whole Y2K thing. Oh, yeah. Was very prevalent. Vampires had an event called Gehenna, which I will go into later. Please I do. Spoil, I don't want to spoil too much about certain events, but this takes place uh, during what is known as the Final Nights. Called so because the fact that, well, it's the Final Nights. It's the nights where... Uh, Eventually, everything will eventually come to an end. I believe this game takes place in 1999. Would make sense with everyone dressing up like they're in the Matrix. I mean, yeah. I mean, it's the nice aesthetic, so... Mm -hmm. Anyway, so we will start. He will be my Navi slash Yoda slash Force Ghost of Vampiric Knowledge. He will be the... No, name, a go name a god of knowledge. <laughs> Don't say Odin. <laughs> I don't think Odin wants to be associated with vampires. So we will start a new game. I do love the little trail that it comes off with the mouse, because this is so 2000s. Do you remember websites that had the little mouse trails? Mm -hmm. I miss that. Can we bring that back? Because <laughs> it's fun, because when you're bored, you can just draw shapes, which is what I was doing. I drew some stars, I drew some hearts. I almost <laughs> drew a dick, but I stopped myself. <laughs> Yep, and a little bit more trivia. Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines, as we said, came out in 2004. Yes. And it is the third game of Troika Games. Unfortunately, this is the game that eventually brought them to an end. I would like to also point out, it used a early version of a... We're just going to go directly to the character sheet so we can go from that. Mm -hmm. It was an early... It was using an early model of the Source Engine used by Valve and came out around this, which was an older, ver it was a older version of it. So a lot of the bugs didn't get fixed, especially in physical puzzles. And came out around the same week or month as Half-Life 1 it, or Half-Life 2? It, 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 Half-Life 2. Half-Life Half 1 was 10 years before. Oh yeah. Hi. Uh, okay. <laughs> so we already know the gender. Mm -hmm. Come on. We knew I was going to play a girl. We all know me. Big shock. No, no, so, I do play dudes. I play dudes in Pokemon because I hate wearing skirts. 
<laughs> I know, I know, ironic. And um, I do play anyway. a dude in MMO I play because I like their outfits more. <laughs> mm. Anyway, explain the clans and tell me which okay. one is the funnest. So, um, when you start off, you get to pick from one of uh, seven clans. These are the seven clans of the Camarilla. Though, eventually the Gangrel and Bruja would eventually split off from the Camarilla, but that's far into the future. <laughs> so, uh, the clan that you are looking at right now are the Tremere. Now, the Tremere are interesting in that they didn't start out as a vampire clan originally. They were actually a group of mages who uh, sought immortality, ah. which they were able to do so. And it was through, essentially, the diabolization of a particular clan head called the Salute. Salute. Salat. It's been a while since I've uh, looked up that name, but yep. Um, and through that, uh, they gained blood magic and became vampires and all sorts of things like that. Uh, they're very mystical based. Um, obviously, as it points out, that they're least trusted because, you know. Mages. Mm -hmm. But they also have the advantage of the fact that they developed thaumaturgy, which was the discipline of blood magic. <laughs> they are very paranoid, and they guard their secrets jealously. They sound like me. <clears throat> well, I'm not that uh, paranoid. Yeah. Uh, the next ones you have are the Bruja, oh, who sorry. are a... Sorry. The no, Bruja. Fine. It's fine. Percy. So, the next group is the Bruja. The Bruja are anarchs and rebels. Um, very much a... Well... Anarchan rebels, uh, idealists to an extreme. Um, they tend to be very radical in their mindsets. Uh, I guess the best way you could think of them are like biker gang uh, kind of aesthetic. I was gonna say either biker gangs or if you're a Les Mis fan, the Rebe the rebels in Le Les Mis, or mm -hmm. or the rebel federate rebels in uh, in Star Wars. Mm -hmm. See, see, we're equating it with mo with media, so people who have never played this game will understand. Yep. Uh, fun fact, the uh, the protagonist in Vampire the Masquerade Redemption is a Bruja. I think I remember that. I remember, I watched this one guy, he was talking about Vampire the Masquerade, that's why I was able to tell him the half, t talk about the Half-Life fact, but then I stopped after a while when he started going spoilers ahead because I didn't want to spoil myself. Because I'm a good seed. <laughs> anyway, then anyway, we have them. the Gangrel. Gangrel, bestial. <clears throat> that's the best way to put them. Um... First off, so something I need to point out is how it says there, uh, the beast within. Every vampire has a beast, a, uh, the kind of, I guess you could say the primal aspect of being a vampire, the thing that draws them to feed on blood. God, these 2004 And the gangrel are the closest in tune with the beast. They tend to be, like I said, very wild, um, and savage. Vampires, uh... Notably and famously don't get along with werewolves, but the gangrel tend to do a little bit better than most. Um, gangrel can be both loners and tended towards a pack mentality, again, fitting with their bestial natures. Um, though they tend to be uh, wanderers and drifters, though this isn't always the case. So they're basically using a lot of those whole animalistic fact if you've read Bram Stoker's Dracula the whole the or vampire lore in general they talk about how they can shape themselves into like werewolves and shit like that well, wolves not werewolves uh tra yeah traditionally they can't shape shift into werewolves but some can through powerful blood magic can do so anyway on to the next land his favorite haha <laughs> <laughs> the malkavian so the malkavian are interesting crazy Eccentric. Mm, eccentric would be the best thing, but the thing that kind of denotes a Malkavian is the fact that each one of them are touched by madness in some way, shape, or form. Um, this madness can manifest in multiple different ways, but it's often manifests as voices seeing things that aren't there. Schizophrenia. Schizophrenia is common, yes. But the thing is, is that um, despite their madness, the Malkavian also have a... So, they have a thing called the Malkavian Web that kind of connects every member of the clan, both past and future. So, this kind of what allows them to uh, get insight into things and such. So, is it like the Avatar state? The Avatar line? Eh. Only more insane. Mm. So, the Malkavians, mad like I said, madness can manifest in different ways. And 
while they can come across as batshit, um, <laughs> one of the uh, one of the stereotypical uh, concepts of a Malkavian is what is known as a fish malk, which is essentially it was an old picture of a Malkavian kissing a fish. I've actually played a Malkavian. That kissed uh, a fish? He was he was a no he was a dumpster malk. I called him this because the fact that he was a high class individual who uh, his obsession because every Malkavian has uh, some mental flaw in some way, shape, or form. And his mental flaw was the fact that he was obsessed with failure. And because he was, you know, rich and well-off, you know, people expect to live in, like, high-class manors and mansions. So he decided to live in a dumpster to uh, fail your expectations. I also know that the Malkavians speak in a different way, and I'd like to be able to understand what the hell I'm reading. <laughs> Which is why we will not be playing as a Malkavian, no matter how much someone begs. Hey, me in the morning. Nosferatu. The Nosferatu. I guess you could say that they are the stereotypical vampires, like what we think about vampires. When you think if Nosferatu. you want to think of them as the more evil types. Uh, so, the Nosferatu, every clan has a kind of weakness to them. Uh, the Nosferatu's clan weakness is the fact that, well, theirs is their appearance. They are very much hideous and ugly and deformed because hey. of just their uh, their clan weakness. There's a fetish for this somewhere on the internet. You and I both know this. Oh, most certainly. <laughs> um, this tends to lead them underground because their very appearance is a masquerade breach. We will go into the masquerade later. Oh, God, the masquerade. <laughs> I will be breaking However, the masquerade the often. <laughs> However... The advantage of this is the fact that the Nosferatu, despite, you know, being underground, tend to also be everywhere. And this leads them to being very much uh, knowledgeable information brokers and stuff of that nature. You also have the ability to be a really elite hacker. <laughs> uh, that's weird. not they... a tradition. No, it's that's just... not a traditional Nosferatu thing. But... No, it's just so weird. The ugly ones are the most knowledgeable. I go, so what? You're saying because they weren't focusing on their appearance and getting laid that were... Are they making fun of nerds? <laughs> I feel like this is a nerd to make fun of. Fun fact is that uh, far into the future, the Nosferatus will accidentally lead to the uh, the Second Inquisition, which will cause the uh, destruction of most of the vampires in uh, London. Thanks a lot, Nosferatu. We will not be playing Nosferatu either, because I'd like to not live in the sewer. Yes, unfortunately in this game, if you play a Nosferatu, you're going to be spending most of your time in the sewers and I, around. I Toreador, the sensual vampires, the sexual ones. <clears throat> um, passion, desire, these are things that are high amongst the Toreador's ranks. As it says here, they picture themselves as artists and visionaries. Yeah, like me. And as also as it points out, that they are the most connected to the mortal world through arts and entertainment. Um, so you know how the they stereotype are of bards? This. Yeah, to some degree, yeah. These are these are the ones that will often raise people up. Sometimes they will tear them down because, well, the Toreador can be fickle at times. God, they're like the mean girls in high school. Mm -hmm. yeah. Also, I would like to point out that in this game, they have one of the least uh, bad uh, clan traits. As it says here, all humanity shifts are doubled. Really, unless you're being an absolute bastard, you really don't have to worry about humanity. I like playing as a good person, to be perfectly honest. I like to play oh. as me, which is morally gray, but a very, very light shade of gray. <laughs> <laughs> yep. If you play if you play this right, then you're never going to have to worry about humanity. Same with the Masquerade. Eh, I think we agreed I wanted to do the mage one because I like the idea of doing blood magic. Mm -hmm. Which apparently I was told is very broken in a good way. Yep. It is very powerful. Uh, we've done the Tremere, and mm -hmm. now... The Ventru. The Ventru are the aristocracy, as they were, or at least they see themselves as that. The highfalutin vampires. They're the 1%. They tend, to, <laughs> they tend to see themselves as the leaders of vampire society, the ones that is, you know, burdened by this necessity. They uh, support the masquerade. Uh, they very much influence politics. Uh, anything that will give them an edge. <laughs> they are the shadow cabinet. Mm-hmm. I say as I drink watered yeah, down very much, coffee. They they very much see themselves as vampire nobility, as it were. Um, however, this also means that they often are the ones that run the camera, the local Camarilla, and even the worldwide Camarilla. All the Camarilla. Um, yeah, the Camarilla are is basically the 
I guess you could say the umbrella to which all vampires, whether they want to or not, belong. They are the group that uh, holds the most sway. They enforce the masquerade, which we will get into later. He's There's a lot to get into. He's going um, to have fun with this. I'm just going to stay here der derping around, and he's going to be like <laughs> explaining everything as I um, suck the blood of hookers. Yep. The vampire clan weakness is basically that they have a uh, very picky appetite. So uh. in this game, you can't feed off of certain individuals or particularly animals, which because vampires uh, can actually feed off of animals and humans and even other vampires. Sexy. We're going to go over to Tremere because I like blood magic. Mm -hmm. Me like don't forget you ha don't forget you have a choice of your history as well to uh, alter your character in many different ways. Oh, God. Uh, this is more or less just a uh, gameplay thing. This does not actually have any like, I mean, unless you pick homosexual, mm -hmm. but otherwise, this doesn't have a real like big influence on gameplay. Well, okay, I shouldn't say gameplay because this will manipulate your character in some way, shape, or form. Nope, not that one. Mm. Secret agent man. Bar singer seductress? I mean, whatever you think is uh, best. Whatever you think makes sense for your character. My character. Keep in mind. <laughs> My character. Keep in mind, you don't have to actually pick a background if you don't want to. I know. Not in... Eldric Prodigy? Go on. Ah. Uh, never mind. Dridal Amicia? Oh, army shit. Infernal? Mm -hmm. The language I speak. <laughs> what is Auspex? Auspex is <clears throat> it's supernatural sight. It's basically super enhancing your super. Well, not just sight, but it's supernatural senses. I would say that this one isn't probably you want to want to take because Auspex is going to be very helpful at times. Thank you. Maybe we should just do none for the sake of my san a, for the sake of my sanity. As as you're new to this game. That's probably for the best. Is there a character creator? No. This oh. is a 2004 game. That uh, picture right there is the f only thing you'll ever see. Well, you won't actually see it because, you know, game. Okay. Sheet. Hello. Mm -hmm. What do I do? So, this is, uh, this is actually a pretty uh, decent, except for the feet section, um, this is actually a pretty uh, decent rec or, uh, representation of uh, the Vampire the Masquerade sheet. Now, I will say that there's actually more to that sheet because... Uh, you actually aren't, despite this game, uh, in the actual game, you are not limited to just three disciplines. Thank you God. can actually take, you can actually take, uh, if you wanted to, all the disciplines, although there's, uh, strengths and weaknesses to that. Uh, first I need to point out the, uh, so you've got the attributes, which are physical, strength, dexterity, and stamina. Uh, strength and dexterity are pretty, uh, self-explanatory. Stamina is extra health, but it also, uh, helps with extra soaking which i'll get into in a little bit soaking? uh social is charisma manipulation appearance again these are self-explanatory uh, so basically charisma deception persuasion yep See, i'm using D, D to help me out here <laughs> well <laughs> deception and pers deception is more closer to manipulation oh yeah deception with uh, the appearance appear <laughs> mm. <laughs> uh then you have you know pers well, you have perception, which is, uh, you know, how perceptive you are, how good you are at seeing uh, things that are, you know, out of the ordinary. Intelligence, self-explanatory. Wits is, it's not quite wisdom, it's more or less your ability to think in the moment. Common fucking sense? Intelligence, I guess intelligence would be long-term planning, whereas wits is short-term planning, I guess you could say. Oh, good. Guess which one I'm bad at in real life. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, um... The thing to keep in mind is the feet section. As you can see, you've got ones in some things and uh, zeros and everything a few else. zeros. This is basically, I guess you could say that this is like, it, it, in D&D &D terms, this is your how good your skills are. Uh -huh. So, for instance, uh, right now you have, a, you have a skill of one in persuasion. But if you were to raise certain stats, 
then he would go up. If you actually scroll over to that particular thing, uh, it will actually light up the attribute and skill that it benefits from. Look, we. As you can see, for example, with uh, unarmed combat, let's just use that as an example. Uh, it is lit it lights up strength and brawl. So for every point in strength and brawl, that will uh, go up by one. Where is ability to hurt people with magic? That with magic. Uh, that. Well, that is not in that. That is under Thaumaturgy, which is uh, down below. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so we have our talents, which... Brawling, okay. dodging, intimidation, I understand. Subterfuge? Is that manipulation? Subterfuge is how well you can lie and spot lies. Ah! Hmm? Ah, the abilities of a rogue. <laughs> hmm? Now... <clears throat> For your spread here, you have, obviously, as you can see, one physical, zero, you have one phys point you can put in physical, zero points you can put in social, and two points you can put in mental. How come I have I no points in social? Uh, it's just how the, uh, the clan that you started was, is. Oh, right. We're anti-social nerds <laughs> who learned magic. <laughs> anyway. Now, um... From here, you're going to be making some choices. If you want to be more of a melee combat, then you'd want to put the extra, that point in physical into, well, strength. But if you're more interested in guns, which I recommend uh, for a first playthrough, then you're going to want to put it in dexterity. Uh, stamina isn't really all that necessary at the moment. It is helpful, yes, but it's not, like, absolutely vital to the starting location. Okay. And you will be getting more experience to obviously put points into. Now, this game is... Now, this game will give you what seems like low amounts of experience, but you will be fine. Okay. Uh, now, as you can see, now, as you can see, because you've put a point in dexterity, your lockpicking and sneak have also gone up. Yeah! I'm a little rogue. Fear me! <laughs> Alright, mental. That is also why I recommended putting it in uh, that, because those will be very useful. Yes. Hacking. I mean, sneaking and lockpicking. Oh, God, is the lockpicking mechanics as horrible as it is in freaking uh, Oblivion? Not really. Oh, Not really. Lock. It's basically just a uh, it's just a mechanical thing uh, that your character just walks up to and just starts lockpicking with a Swiss Army knife lockpick. Really, me? <laughs> okay, so perception, intelligence, wits. Well, I'm doing ranged combat, so... Perception. I would, yep. Perception is pretty handy. Um, for hacking, uh, if you... Okay, so how do you imagine this character? I have no clue. <laughs> okay. Because usually well, I just go, Oh, this is interesting, let's have fun with this. Okay, my well... First playthrough? Me? Now I'm going to obviously be guiding you a little bit. I would recommend putting a point, the point into perception and wits, because uh, combat defense is very handy, taking less damage. And also the fact that, you know, you're going to be hacking a little bit early on. Gotcha. Um, Lockpicking and hacking will be uh, My bread and handy. butter. Yep. Um, one thing you don't really need to worry about too much. Uh, can you scroll over to, uh, on the sheet under feet where it says uh, inspection? Uh, do, 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 do. The first, hmm. the first video will be basically us making my character, because it will take three hours! <laughs> okay, I just wanted to double check how that worked. Okay. So, basically what inspection means is that uh, out in the world you'll occasionally see items glow. That's basically it. Like, you don't really need to worry about putting points in investigation as a result, because unless you really <laughs> feel the need to put, like, I don't know, see off into the distance. So my inspection is basically my ADHD ability to find shiny things. Oh, shiny! <laughs> more inspection, more ADHD, <laughs> or more cor or, or more Corvid, not COVID, Corvid. God, this fucking plague has been making me accidentally say the wrong word for freaking ravens and crows. Caw caw. Mm, okay, let's see. Intimidation. Mm, subterfuge. Uh, I would like to point out that as the Tremere, you get the dominate uh, feature, which there are certain points in the game where you can just straight up dominate someone instead of having to worry about certain things. Bend over! Wait, wrong domination? Um, <laughs> <laughs> I guess if you consider yourself more along the lines of, like, uh, I guess, do you want to be more 
intimidating or more seductive? Seductive! It's so fun to play a female character that's seducing and get all the information and then kill the man in their bed. What? Okay. I've... Well, for this, I would recommend putting the point into dodge and subterfuge, Thank then. Thank you. Thank you. Dodge is more or less like melee combat, but considering you're going guns, you obviously want to make sure that you can, uh, you know. If you can dodge Avoid. a if you can dodge a bullet, no, you can dodge a ball. You can you're, 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 no, that's not how that works. <laughs> it doesn't. No. I can't go okay. all matrix on it. Now you've already got a you've already got uh, a point in lockpicks and sneak, so you don't really need to worry about that for the moment. And since you're going firearms, well, I think it's pretty obvious what you should put your point into. Really? What, what, what makes you think I should put it in freaking firearms? <laughs> um, uh, computer. Finance. Ooh, haggling is very fun. I like being able to get cheaper shit. It's more, yeah, it's more or less just slightly cheaper stuff. It's... I would recommend putting a point into computer, finance, and scholarship. With scholarship, you'll eventually come across books that will uh, give you an extra uh, skill point for free. Oh, good. So We're it's already very on the same important. Book. And as it also points out, it also gives you a uh, bonus in persuasion, which. Really, let's be honest. It's always nice to have persuasion. So It's like the speech feat in uh, Fallout, where it's like, yes, you can persuade people, and also you can get cheaper shit. Mm -hmm. So, as we can see, uh, your character has... Uh, you're not really all that good in melee combat, but you're very good at ranged combat. You have good combat defense, uh -huh. and you're going to be starting out with decent in most skills, except for intimidation. So, my question is, do I get gun early? You do get a gun early, yes. Do I get? Do I have to do bullet management? Yes. Oh fuck. <laughs> it's not that bad because uh, once you get to the second city, uh, you'll have someone who you can buy a lot of ammo from. So this is not a problem. Well, good thing I'm also very good at blood magic because we're going to be doing that a lot. That's my melee. Yep. <laughs> so we should get on to disciplines then. Okay. Now. Uh, your three disciplines are Auspex, Dominate, and Thaumaturgy. These are the clan disciplines of Clan Tremere. Auspex, like I said, is Supernatural Senses, which in this game basically gives you the ability to look through walls and such. Ooh. However, one thing that's nice about Auspex is that uh, because it also buffs your stats, you can occasionally use this to uh, kind of cheese mechanics. Uh, if you actually... Go uh, if you actually uh, go to the particular dots, it will tell you what you start with as your abilities. Mm. So, for instance, just scroll to the dot in Auspex, and you can see that it gives you a plus one to wits. Yay! Uh, it also allows you, as it says, to reveal the auras of living and de undead within a short distance. Lasts twenty seconds per activity or activation. If I remember correctly, uh, it also will eventually add perception. Yep. Yep. As you can see, you you can do that. Um, this is actually very handy. Uh, and also, like I said, it basically lets you see through walls. I like seeing through walls. Hi, I recommend. Wall. Yep. I. This is something that I do recommend putting points into later on because oh. this is very handy. Because occasionally, like, you can cheese. I mean, not right now, but occasionally you can uh, cheese certain things to uh, help you under certain circumstances. I but, know when you say uh, cheese. Dominate. You I know when you say cheese, you meant, you know, like, to cheese it and to get out. But my brain just imagined, basically, Auspice yep. gives me the ability to turn people into ch chatter. Uh, no, that is actually matter magics, and vampires can't do that. Oh, don't ruin my fun. I want to be able to turn people into cheese. Dominate. Three words. Vampire, vampire lawn chair. Anyway, <laughs> so dominate. Vampire uh, This allows you to dominate the mind. This allows you to dominate the minds of the lesser individuals uh these are often covert they don't carry any risk of violating the masquerade Yay. uh you can if you can at some points use this in place of persuasion and intimidation all that to just dominate someone to get what you want from them give me a cookie <laughs> mm -hmm. it's a blood cookie it's good for the vampire <laughs> and finally thaumaturgy a favorite of mine because it is blood magic so at level one you get blood strike which is essentially a projectile which this is something you're going to be using a lot uh because the fact that this gives you blood back basically you spend blood 
uh, if the projectile will strike your victim, and if the victim lives, the blood will come back to you. Often you will get more blood than you spent on this, so, so this like can be that, very handy. So that's like the thing that Cole does in Infamous, where it's like, yeah, he just spent electricity, now he just made more. Oh, God. Mm -hmm. uh, if you want, scroll over to the next one. Boop. Where you can see where uh, level 2 is. I gotta wait for it to catch up. Okay, Blood Purge. This is an AoE that quite literally does as it says, where it causes any enemy around you to violently vomit up blood. This is very handy as a crowd control. You, you, um, you told me AoE and I got excited. <laughs> huh? You, you said AoE and I was just like, boop. Yeah, this is very much a case of... Uh, you spend this, and uh, enemies will start vomiting blood, which can give you... Uh, it, it stuns them for a short time, and it gives you a bit of a breather. It does damage. Uh, if I remember correctly, eventually this gets a ability where you can actually make enemies explode. See, you say that, and you just got me happy. Force Kaboom. Wait, wait a minute. Yep. So, no, it's the fifth one. Blood boil. Yeah. Okay. Yep. I, like I said, I, I, like, I like blood. I like the blood magic of uh, this game. It can be quite fun. Especially you... since... Now, unfortunately, you won't be able to use this ex out of combat areas because mm -hmm. otherwise that is a violent violation of the Masquerade. Uh -huh. However, Auspex and Dominate, however, do not have these problems because they are uh, passives. They are not active abilities. Do you think I should get the AoE, the, the AoE ability, or should I be very logical and go put it in Auspex? No. Nah. The AoE ability will be fine. Yeah, because it's like, I want to make people explode! <laughs> no, I need a name. Why is it Ilsa? Oh, yeah, this was my uh, test thing. Ilsa was the name of a uh, Helsing OC I, ma uh, Helsing OC I made. She's well, a we vampire go, who does we could magic. Go, we, could, yep. we could go with the uh, vampire that does magic. How very... Uh... Listen, I did not know about Vampire's Masquerade when I made her, okay? Uh-huh. She's an Irish-born lass who has magic abilities that activated when she became a vampire, okay? Uh -huh. Original character, do not steal. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> okay. Well, how about we go with the first name? Oh, I don't know. Cat? No! Come on! Come on! <laughs> Come on! Come on! Let's make her... What do you think would be a good name for this character? My brain keeps going to my vampire OC in Helsing, because I watched Helsing a bridge while you were gone. <laughs> I mean, that's fine. That works just as well. It's not exactly like this name is going to come up too much. Yeah, it's not like they say my name. Which, mm. by the way, I'm still pissed off at Fallout 4 that they had the word cat. They had Katniss on there as a name that could be set. Not Katniss. Something. But, like, it had cat basically in the name, but they. But, 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 but Cogsworth doesn't say cat, which annoys the crap out of me in Fallout 4. I'm like, he can say my name. He did it. Mm. Oof. Poor kitty cat. You anyway. Say, you uh, say all the names from Game of Thrones, but you won't say cat. Ugh. Anyway, before we leave, uh, we should talk about the last two. Uh, Last two bars, which is going to be your humanity and your masquerade meter. Oh, God. Uh, humanity kind of just represents how human you are, like how, how close to human nature you are. Like, it, essentially, the way it works in the world of darkness is, is it represents how moral you are. Like, it's my morality, me. It's my mor moral compass. Yes, although, uh, unless it also kind of tells you, like, a low humanity vampire has more of a chance of frenzying. That doesn't uh, sound frenzy is a, Frenzying is essentially what happens when a vampire is either uh, badly injured or low on blood or low humanity, where essentially you're going to attack anyone around you like a rabid animal. I was about to say, so is it rage for barbarians? Yes, it is essentially a mindless rage where you don't have any real control over what happens. You're going to attack the nearest person. Uh, if you're hungry for blood, you're going to try and drain them of their blood. Uh, the masquerade meter just represents how, like... How many times you've broken the masquerade? Which, if you're playing decently well, then this should not be a problem. Um, at the start, you're just you haven't broken the masquerade. Well, duh. Is, yep. Um, but as you go, you'll eventually get things like uh, vampire hunters on you, your own kind. And if this ever goes to zero masks, then game over. Which, again, if you're doing things right, this shouldn't ever be a thing that you have to worry about. Question, can I gain Masquerade back? Yes. Okay, good. Uh, under circ or certain circumstances, particularly working for the local prince, uh, Sebastian LaCroix, uh, you will be able to get a, uh, a mask. 
Unfortunately, because this only ever goes to five, if you've not been breaking the masquerade, well, this doesn't go to six or anything like that. Uh -huh. uh, humanity and the masquerade masks, like, these are pretty easy to gain and lose. Well, okay, they're easy to lose, like, especially with the masquerade. Like, if you start shooting off blood boils, like, constantly in the cities, then, yeah, you're gonna lose this really quickly. But really, unless you're being an absolute bastard, then you're never gonna have to worry about these two going down. Okay, so it's not something I need to hyper-worry about. No. In fact, you don't really need to worry about it at all. Yeah. Like, because there are combat zones where you can go willy-nilly with using your powers and such, and in which case they don't have to be worried about it at all. Right. So. Now, before we hit the start button, I'm going to the bathroom. You can okay. explain the history of Vampire the Masquerade. Have yeah, fun. Yeah, but, but I think I'm going to wait till you get back because it'll be more fun. Then because it'll annoy you. Uh, it doesn't annoy me. It's just I, if I don't have something in front of me to keep me busy, I start zoning out. Uh, no, that's why, I'll wait. that's why I said I'll wait till you get back. Okay. Now go. Okay, fine. Go. Going. Dead air, dead air, dead air, dead air, dead air. Oh, anyone in the audience? Yeah, just one person. You? <laughs> Someone by the name of Bloodluster. Nani? <laughs> hmm. Hello, Bloodluster. Welcome to the video. Maybe because I'm doing Vampire the Masquerade. Uh huh. Hold on, I gotta. Um. Yeah, okay, um, right. Uh-oh. Okay, we're good. I, I, all tabbed and I panicked. Okay, so we've made the thing. Mm-hmm. We've done that. There is no audio. Mm-hmm. Um, we have been streaming for 30 minutes. It took us 30 minutes to explain everything. And we haven't even begun to explain anything. Oh god, who's gonna go on to vast histories of every back character and talk about their shoe size and their favorite color and their favorite blood type? Well, I'm not gonna go to that extreme. Besides, it's not like the books actually go into information like that. And we accept. Auto yep. level is off? Oh, that means I have to put in my points myself manually. Okay, I can do that. 
Okay, so, except the act of transferring into a mortal into vampires, the embrace. We should have called my stream the embrace. <laughs> Sexy noises. Mm -hmm. I forgot to put on subtitles. I want to show you something. Never mind, I did put on subtitles. They're just not on the bottom like a normal human. Fun fact, this is kind of interesting because, except for the Toreador, usually vampires don't really have much of a next drive. Well, that's boring. Well, it's almost as if they're undead. Oh, yeah. Then you don't have to think about the how the hell do they get boners thing. I mean, there is something called the Blush of Life, which can allow that. But that's something that's not going to really come up in this game. Anyway... Uh, so, also the fact that, um, you being a Tremere who is embraced in this way is actually a plot point that will come up later. What the f- Yep, so, you were, uh, yeah, well, congratulations, you're dead now, good so, evening. you know, good game, everyone. <laughs> My fellow kindred. Hello. So, here's the, here's the important thing about, uh, staking a vampire in the heart. It does not kill them, it only paralyzes them. It's and will put them into a, uh, form of- Dreamless sleep called torpor until the stake the is removed. Bind our society. The laws that are the fabric of our existence have been broken. No. As prince, I am within my rights to grant or deny the kindred of this city the privilege of siring. Many of you have come to me seeking permission, and I have endorsed some of these requests. Oh, look! It's the sexy However, one. The accused that sits before you tonight was not refused permission. Indeed. My permission was never sought at all. They were caught shortly after the embrace of this child. Child? I'm like in my twenties. Need to announce the sentence. As yeah, to a vampire, I, I am a child. Accused, a loyal and upstanding member of our organization. But as some of you may know, the penalty for this transgression is death. Know that I am no more adjudicator than I am a servant to the law that governs us all. Let tonight's proceedings serve as a reminder to our community that we must adhere to the code that binds our society, lest we endanger all of our blood. Forgive me. Let the penalty commence. Okay, Sephiroth. Damn. <laughs> Which leads to the fate of the ill-begotten progeny. Without a sire, most child are doomed to walk the earth never knowing their place, their responsibility, and most importantly, the laws they must obey. Therefore, I have decided that this is bullshit! I have also decided this is bullshit! <laughs> <laughs> well... All I'm saying is that he better not do it. If Mr. Rodriguez would let me finish. Okay. I have decided to let this kindred live. They shall be instructed in the ways of our kind and be granted the same rights. And by the best great bloodlines to a given character creation, all I'm asking. Causes of this community. I thank you well, all for to be fair, that game is, you know, I hope more modern day, be. so it's not surprising. <laughs> I'm hoping for character creation. They might not do it. There was rumors that they were going to put Battle Royale in it. Ah, Lady Chi Guerrera in the back. Chi Guerrera? Is that the guy? Eh, back it. We're not doing history Your tonight. Sire. Tragic. My apologies. But you see, there is a strict code of conduct that all of us must... must... adhere to. They're guidelines, really. Survive. When someone... anyone breaks these laws... They undermine the well These my characters wearing sensible shoes. Uh, the guidelines he refers to is, you know, the masquerade and all that fun such. Allowing you to live makes me directly responsible for your Basically, life. don't let mortals know you so, exist. Uh, don't reveal vampire general. life. Uh, that's pretty much... The that's the masquerade's uh, thing in a nutshell. Holy shit, there are gender-neutral bathrooms in this universe. Wow, this it's so future. Is your tribe. <laughs> Vampires are accepting of gender neutral. There, you will meet an agent by the name of Mercurio. He will provide the details of your labor. I've shown you great 
clemency. This Prove man is like 90% cheekbone. <laughs> Don't come back until you do. I have a name, dude. Not only do vampires hide from mortals, they hide from themselves as well, pretending that they are not the horrors that they have truly become. Mm -hmm. Ah! Movement Many, vamp Many vampires tend to uh, pretend that they are not what they're not. Anyway, we're about to meet a character who I'm sure in no way, shape, or form is important to lore or anything like that. I'm pretty sure he'll never come up again or ever matter again. And you and I both know you're lying. And the fact that he's voiced by uh, John DiMaggio has nothing to do with it. That's the one thing I know. John DiMaggio is in this game. Okay. Use the wasad. Yep. Um, now, as you can see, so a little bit of uh, basic explore explaining. Uh, to the left, you can obviously see you've got your health bar. Oh, and we'll have to explain that later because... Hello, smiling Jack. I like him. By the way, despite the uh, very pronounced teeth and giving off the fact that he looks like, you know... Death? Yep. Uh, he is a Bruja. Which, as I point out, you know, the biker aesthetic and such like that. What's important is I'm offering help. You make it he needs to work on his black nail polish. If I remember correctly, he's also a vampire that smokes. Yes, he did. He's smoking a cigar like Wolverine in the corner earlier in the video. Which is funny because vampires don't usually, well, they don't really need to do that because they can't really breathe, uh, well, we but some like to do it still as old habit. Here. Yeah, let's get away from that horrible place. We're walking. No, you're not. We're teleporting. Christ, Whoa, he jumped! Oh they, actually, oh, they actually changed that. Now, we ain't got much time, but I speak Cause, uh, in the, uh, game, I guess this must be something that the patch added because, uh, really, uh, if you play the base game, he just says that and then nothing really changes. Uh, drink of what? Oh, man, we're popping a cherry here. <laughs> oh, you're gonna love this. All right, check it out. Blood, it's your new rack of lamb, your new champagne. Yep, to a vampire, blood is quite literally everything. Get ready, though, cause, hey, Can we at least drink food? Drink food. You can drink or eat. Okay, so vampires can't eat or drink anything. Uh, I don't want to talk over Jack. So what do I? You go down there, catch them. You creep up on them. You bear those little fangs and feed. Don't worry if you weren't captain of the wrestling team or something, because it'll come so naturally. You think you've done it a thousand times already. <laughs> Forget that comic book crap, kid. It don't work that way. Then how did I become one? Be sure though. Um, I will explain that after sure some talking. Not to train them dry, okay? It might be hard to resist, but don't kill them. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> okay. So, um, first I'll explain a few of the game mechanics and such like that. So, to the left, you have your health bar. Pretty standard. And then to your right, you have your, uh, your blood meter. Uh, a few things I forgot to mention is the fact that Silver Snake just asked, can you buy a shit ton of cats and use them as Capri Sun? No. No. <laughs> so, um... Graham, you're horrible. Thing. As So, with this game, you have uh, three types of damage. You have bashing, which is minor damage, you know, someone punches you. You have uh, lethal, which is where someone shoots you or stabs you. And then you have aggravated. Aggravated is from... Grim said, what shit vampires? <laughs> oh, look, and it even pops up on your screen, so you can actually read it, too. No, it all pops up on my screen in video. It's basically so people on the au the audience, when they have to watch my VODs, can know what the heck has been am I answering questions for. Fun. But, uh, so aggravated comes from any supernatural sources, or because you're a vampire, fire. Um, you have a... So, uh, if you click continue... And then if you scroll with your mouse wheel, you'll see you have multiple different uh, blood powers. Uh, you have a blood heal, which essentially just converts uh, blood into health. Uh, you have a blood buff, which is going to give you a plus to your strength and dexterity. This is something that you're going to be using a lot to kind of like cheese lockpicking and such. And then obviously you have your other powers, which is auspex, blood, uh, blood strike, blood purge, stuff like that. All right. So blood, blood buff is basically great for helping with, ha with uh, lockpicking, right? 
Uh, and also punching and stuff like that. It basically gives you a plus to your physical attributes. Uh, um, feed is F. Yep. Okay. Yep. Uh, you do not want this to, uh, as it says, it's important that humans do not see you feed. <laughs> Grim says, all right, all right. How about using your vampire magic to control kids and make them a meat shield for you? To be fair, in the actual game, you can do that. Now, you want to make sure before his uh, meter gets uh, empty that you uh, press F again so that you don't kill him. You can feed on him a little bit more, as long as he do the meter doesn't get full. There we go. Yep. Yum, yum, yum. Yep, see? You basically, you don't want to uh, drain him fully because it'll kill him. Uh, mm -hmm. Which is funny because in the actual game, it usually takes, like, a couple of weeks to, like, heal what you just did to him. But then again, he's a bum, so who's gonna notice? No, he's a guy who's lost. <laughs> Uh, but, uh, yeah, Grim, you can actually, uh, a vampire knowledgeable in dominate or majesty can, in fact, do something similar to that. Because I'm... vampires. Alright, I drank blood. It tastes like cherry soda. Yeah. Yep, go speak to Jack again. Uh, yeah. I was seeing if there's a way to turn off Head Bob. I can see it in your eyes. You're born again what, for Jack and all that? No, that no for me when I walk. <laughs> I have to say this. Right, what? Oh, you mean the cape? Yeah. Kick ass, feeling better than your best day living, but wait, it gets better. But wait, there's more. Kindred. Kindred, that's a our word for vampire. All kindred have a few things in common. Things that set them right square above humans on the food chain. Do I have the ability to dance like nobody is watching? Okay, fine. Like what? Senses, a body that can take a beating, and if you play your cards right, eternal life. That's a no sure bet, but still a chance at immortality is not a bad deal. And that's just for starters. French benefits for joining the club. So I'm gonna whip uh, forever? It can still be destroyed, but oh, yeah, forget yes. the books in the movie. Garlic? Or Good. A cross? Shove it right up their ass. <laughs> a steak? Only if it catches you in the heart, then it just paralyzes you. Running water? Eh, that's no problem. I bathe. Occasionally. Now, a shotgun blast to the head. Oh, that's trouble, boy. Fire? That's real trouble. Sunlight? Well, you catch a sunrise and it's all over, kiddo. Get it? Got it. Okay, now. <sighs> what the fuck is this? Dot, dot, dot. Now we come to my favorite part of this game, and I say that sarcastically. I was about to say, I smell sarcasm. Y you do that. At the bottom of your screen is the use icon. Uh-huh. E. Just E. It basically, when it goes up, you can see, uh, like, for instance, you can open this door and such. Whee! Ice skating! Now, uh, before we continue, Grim said, so all you really need to do is bite a couple of rats, wait a couple of weeks until they spread it to the entire rat population, and then use them as a water bending source. You're unstoppable. Okay, first off, Grim, vampires that masquerade the bloodline do not, or vampire the masquerade bloodline do not work like that. Uh, <laughs> even in Vampire the Masquerade and Vampire the Requiem, va they don't work like that. You don't spread the vampire bite, um, and this is something that was pointed out. At Kat, you had a uh, question. Questions. About. Um, so. You don't just become a vampire by feeding off of someone. What you have to do is undergo what is known as the embrace. Essentially, you have to drain someone completely of blood, and then you have to feed them some of your vampire blood, which is known as Vitae. Oh, so it's like in Buffy. Yeah. You cannot accidentally make someone a vampire. I mean, I guess you could if you, like, killed them and then made them, like, injected some of your blood into them, but... And by... Usually this is done by either cutting yourself traditionally or, you know, biting your arm and then letting your blood pool into their mouth and such like that. Now, the Gangrel are known for having a control over animals because they have the uh, animalism uh, trait. Yeah. Uh, well, you can do that. So he said, holy shit, I remember now. This is the tabletop RPG where you have to talk instead of fighting with your vampire powers. You can do both of those things. As someone who's played Vampire the Requiem, you can sometimes talk, sometimes fight with your vampire powers. But the thing is, a big part of the World of Darkness is the fact that you don't really want the kin to know. The kind. The, so, vampires are a bit, uh, you know, uppity like that. And they refer to themselves as kindred. They don't like to refer to themselves as vampires. That's a but dirty then they word. Refer to 
Yeah, they refer to the humans as kind or kin, depending on Thailand, who you ask. Can I use the um, term meatbag? I mean, that's a possible term, too. Some tend to see them merely as food or such like that. Some believe that humanity should be enslaved and subjugated. Derpasaurus. Wait, didn't that one chick loaded in the blood bank actually turn that surfer dude into a vampire? Yes. Spoilers! That is a spoiler, which we will come to. Ah, we have more than two, more than Grim in the audience. Hello, other person in the audience. Yes. Person's name is Derpasaurus. Hello, Derpasaurus. <laughs> that sounds like me when I'm really, really tired and sleepy. Yep. Again, we will come to that later. See, he's our Navi. I'm just playing. He's our he's our wise Yoda, our man in the mountain with the big epic beard and the whole and the giant wooden staff that he will smack me with when I screw up somewhere. Yes. Hello. Hello. I'm a. Uh, I've basically been a fan of the world of darkness for several years now i've looked into both old and new world of darkness so i've probably forgotten more about the setting than is necessary unfortunately Ow. i didn't start with the setting when it began because that was 1991 and that was the year i was born so i was born uh, one year before that yep uh now uh in this area you will gain the uh the lock pick uh now fun fact if you do not have any points in inspection this will not glow but like as you can see, like, if it's uh, something you pick up, you can see it's glowing right here with the little particle effects. Come down here. Sup? Stay away from the window. You Hello, tell Jack. You're telling me that. Oh, it's a Sabat raid. Chris Sabat? My All Might's here? Jesus Christ, I was hoping to spare you this shit till later. Uh, Sabat. Well, they're mostly mindless, bloodthirsty assholes. That's all you need to know for now, alright? What's up? The Sabat got wind of the gathering here, so they figured they'd raise a little hell and put a little heat on the new prince. What happened to the old prince? No time for political run now. Job one, get out of here alive. The Sabat might be mindless, but they hit like a Mack truck, like raging savages. Nothing a fledgling like he wants to mess with. Oh, joy. <laughs> Heads up. Back away. Cutscene. By the way, there is a little bug here that's always been a little bit abusing to me. Let's see if it'll happen here. Yeah. Ow, oh, ow. There it is. <laughs> Bullets coming out of his chest. Ow. What the heck? How do I get these skills? Uh, these are... Not something you can get. It's cool and badass. Yep. Dump the sheriff of the uh All right, we gotta of LA. the back quick. I'll stay and keep a watch out. You get us into the office. The doors around the No, door werewolves here. are not actually immortal. I'm on it. Werewolves actually age normal. But I'll get to that after this. Okay. So a few things. Uh Grim said I also remember that werewolves are like actually immortal. Uh in Vampire the Mass or in Va uh, in Werewolf the Apocalypse and Werewolf the Forsaken, werewolves are not immortal. They age slower than humans, but they will eventually die of old age. Okay. Or if they're not killed. Um, another few things to add is the fact where you're asking, like, if you can do that and such like that. Uh, like what uh, the sheriff did? No, because the sheriff is implied to be of a bloodline that's not actually in this game. Aww. Uh, you did notice he used animism to some degree, which or animalism, which is, you know, being able to summon the wolves and such. Now, whenever you approach a door, and if you can lockpick it, you can see the door handle will light up. Uh-huh. Uh, you Oops. can lockpick this door. I did this blood is the... Yep. What the I hell mean, am no... I wearing? You... Yeah. You're wearing Prada, obviously. Now, normal... Now, I look... Yeah, as you can see, uh, this will just tell you the, the uh, lockpick difficulty, which, because the fact that this is starting you off, you're fine. Now, uh, here's a thing where, uh... There's two ways to access this next part, which I will explain after you talk to uh, Jack here again. Uh, By the way, he sure just uh, jumped. Uh, no. Nicely done, though. <laughs> Not exactly an angel in life, were you? We don't talk about that. Cool. Now, if you want a lesson on how really not to act, take notes for those sabot assholes. You're a big bad vampire. Yeah, great. Congrats. Now keep it to yourself. You go roar and you beat your chest, and that's what you can expect. Wait, I still got that list of people from high school! It's the same reason you don't <laughs> so let humans see you feeding. It's 
why the wolf doesn't want the sheep to know he's there. Oh, yeah. It's also why you don't go juggling dumpsters or outrun the 815 from Sacramento. And it's, and it's why you didn't know any of this when you woke up this morning. Oh. Keep our secret secret and you make things easier on all of us. We're living in the age of cell phone cameras. Fuck up, ain't tolerated. Especially it's nowadays with social media. Well, it ain't a casual thing, bro. Yes. This is why I'm like, how are they gonna do if they do a modern vampire the masquerade? Um, social media is a thing. <laughs> they give, they have they have a vampire uh, okay. that's like that cap that's a what is it Captain Disillusionment who points out all the fakes? <laughs> okay, well first off, Derpasaur said, why can't we learn that skill of jumping through windows? Uh, yes, yeah, it is truly a tragic thing. Now, uh, Silver Snake said, vampires are weak to Facebook. Now, uh, fun fact, uh, Vampire the Masquerade actually has a 5th edition, uh, which actually deals with uh, Vampire the Masquerade in the Modern Nights. And, uh, yeah, so, uh, because of, uh, because of the internet, vampires were eventually found out, and as I mentioned before, uh, this led to, uh, the destruction of most of the vampires in London. Oh, goody. And what is, at the event known as the Second Inquisition. So, question, um, can vampires get detected on cell phone cameras? <laughs> uh, not really like yes and no they still have a lot of the same issues as mirrors because of uh just the disconnect between them and you know kind of reality to some degree they uh show up as that little blurry image that we traditionally think of ah now uh the sabbat uh the sabbat are the one of the other three factions that are the major factions in vampire the masquerade you have the camarilla which are the individuals who kind of run vampire society or our vampire society, I guess you'd say. And they try to uphold the masquerade, you know, basically keep the secret. Uh, they're very much a bureaucracy. Ugh. The Sabbat are those who basically say, screw it, we're vampires. And, and will often uh, just, yeah, they basically believe in being monsters. Uh, it's not uncommon for them to actually... Uh... <sighs> okay. What, what did Grimm say? So, no, it wasn't him. I'll, I'll say it in a second. Uh, so sometimes the Zabot will just embrace someone and then just throw them to the wolves and such. Oh, no. They're very. They're, these are usually referred to as shovelheads because basically, you know, it's almost as if they've just been dug out of the grave. Um, Derpasaur said that would explain every time I look at myself in the mirror, I never saw a reflection. Eh. And we've got another person named uh, Snoofkin. Snoofkin. And he said. Hello? They said. But if you look cl the close, real close, you can see yourself in Jack's dreamy eyes. Yay! <laughs> can we romance him? Is there romance in this game? There, there really is. There's no romance in this game. Aww. <laughs> you just heard me get sad about that. I mean, Mass you can Effect seduce spoiled. people, but you can't seduce Jack. Mass to be Effect fair, Jack. Me. To be fair, Jack is an elder vampire. So. Yeah, hello. <laughs> Okay, stop that cat. Bad. That party back there with the guy in the suit and the Magilla Gorilla? The assholes that put your sire to death? That's the Camarilla. They make a tidy business out of enforcing vampire laws like this one. Hey, uh, weren't we just talking about this? Mm, yeah, mm -hmm. I'll tell you what I think some other time, maybe. I like to let people form their can I farm my own onion? All right, now don't worry, because I know the area. You know what? I'm glad we're in this situation, you and I. It illustrates a point. You gotta utilize your surroundings. Okay. You do what you gotta do. Theft, destruction of property, breaking and entering. <laughs> These will be the least of your sins before the night's out. Goody! So look around here. You gotta get out the back there through that magnetically sealed door. There must be a key someplace. I got an idea. Break it! Now, you actually have multiple ways to get into this uh, safe. You can hack the computer, or you can uh, see the very conveniently placed uh, keyword, or the uh, computer password on a post-it note right next to the thing if you don't have the uh, adequate hacking skill. Uh huh. that's about the masquerade. Okay. Yep. Um, as he point, he just basically points out some basic stuff. Chop yep. shop! As that's the password. If you don't want to uh, have to hack. Now, you will have to actually input the password. Okay. Because as you can see, this is a 1999 computer. Well, the 90s computer style. 
type list to get the available commands. God! Yep. Because you do not access... It's almost as if you've never run DOS. As you can see, oh, you I've have to... Oh, I've run DOS uh, and I hate it. As you can see, available members is, or menus is safe. God. I feel like I was in elementary school all over again. How do I open safe? You, f you forgot to you forgot to unlock it because you have to go oh. back into the computer and do unlock. You could just unlock it with lockpick, but yep, you gotta open. You gotta do that and then unlock. God, it's been a few thousand years since I've used DOS. Kids, that's what DOS was like. We had to use that when we were kids. Die, my darling. They look like Evanescence and Marilyn Manson and given the game, Henry I would Rollins. not be surprised. Given the game, I would not be surprised if that was the influence. When you approach a container... And I would also not be surprised if those are some of the devs that worked on this game. Uh, take ye. Exit. There we go. Now take that key card and head out the back. I'll meet you out in the alley there. I'm gonna check out things from the top side. Get the sniper rifle. You don't get that one anytime soon. I want a sniper rifle! Snoofkin said, DOS's love, DOS's life. Alright. So, da, 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 da. basically, uh, there's a door in the back. You just go through. I got it. It's not like Fallout where I got lost often. Cutscene time. Whoa, Jack. He's like Wolverine. <laughs> yep, showing off some of the Bruja powers. You've been wounded by Sabat, the blue bar represents it. If your health is completely different from find a death and your game is over. Your health regenerates over time when you are feeding. Your health regenerates much faster. Okay, so I do regen. Yep. Uh, if it turns yellow, you have sustained aggravated damage. Certain hazards like fire, supernatural attacks cause aggravated damage and may take longer to heal. Okay. Jack, you're hovering. I mean, it's not like this game doesn't have bugs and glitches. Hey, look at them potholes. Those will close up soon enough. Better feed, though. <laughs> There's someone down the stairs here. It's not the freshest catch, but it'll do. What's the difference? Now, when it comes to feeding, it's quality blood you're looking for, not the quantity. Bums and lowlife don't pack the same punch that a healthy, well-bred human will. Juice bags with a pedigree. That's the good stuff. But you gotta take what you can get. You ever had a PhD, kid? Ooh, that's good stuff. PhD? We're talking about really smart people? Remember what I said, though. Don't kill them. At least not the innocent ones. Ha <laughs> ha! You're a monster now. Make no mistake. One of the damned and the fallen. You need to hold on to every last shred of humanity you have. Aye, Captain. An innocent's an innocent. You kill one, even a worthless bum, even by accident, and it's gonna cost you a piece of your own humanity. To that beast you got welling up inside you. The beast, it's always We're there, educating. to take over. Mm -hmm. When it does, it's like a wild animal wearing your skin. Desperate, scared, reckless. He'll do anything. Smiling Jack, you're slowly you going into ear candy. I, I, I said innocent humans. If some asshole levels a 12 gauge your way, you drain him, skin him, and bash in his skull. Self-preservation is a vital part of humanity, after all. So if a guy but shoots me, I can that. kill him and <laughs> via draining his blood, and that will be completely fine and not drain my humanity because my brain is thinking it's self-defense? Yes. The only way to fight <clears> Thank you is to keep in touch with your humanity and don't go hungry. It's a fine line. Keep in touch with my humanity? Quick! The pile of kittens! All right, now go feed. Careful, though. He's gonna drain fast. Where is he? Be back in a minute. Okay, homeless dude. Yep. Uh, Snoofkin said, so how are you guys? It's nice to meet you. Uh, pretty good. Pretty good. I mean, I'm just enjoying this lovely, lovely, uh, day until it starts raining. Yummy. And I got roped into this. Uh, you know what? Yeah, you gotta have to be careful with bums because they will drain a lot faster and such. Uh, obviously if anyone has any questions about vampire lore, I will answer to the best of my abilities. 
And he will then dance like no one is watching. Uh, I think I still got some stuff. Well, give it a try. I'll think about it. I am not eating a rat. You can't pay me enough. Nope, nope. Fine, I'll go eat a rat. Where are the rats? Yep. Say, say uh, rats are something that you occasionally get. Oh. Uh, Silver Snake said, "We're all chilling while watching what passes for vampires nowadays." Uh, oh. Count Chocula was the last true Lord of Blood. Graham, what have I told you about insulting things I enjoy? <laughs> Just couldn't bear. Uh, Snoofkin God, said, okay. can you explain once and for all the difference between a bruja and a true bruja? Really, it comes down to, like, ideologies to some degree, but it's also a bloodline thing. Uh, the bruja are kind of a uh, break-off of the true, quote-unquote, bruja. Uh, the true Bruja tend to see themselves as, well, quite simply, true Bruja, and the regular Bruja is kind of degenerate. And the difference between that is just bloodline and who you know? Uh, to some degree, yeah. Oh, goody. So it's elitism in the Bruja. There's elitism in the Rebellion. Oh, great. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it also comes down to, like, so the true Bruja are more or less along the lines of... So... You know how the main lineage, like I pointed out, are tend to be rambunctious and violent and such like that? Mm -hmm. The true Bruja are noted to be more calm and collective. Uh, they also tend to believe that they... So, the Bruja also see themselves as having more than one uh, progenitor. The true Bruja believe that they are uh, from the original uh, progenitor, who was diabolized by one of the descendants, who would eventually become the... Uh, progenitor of the Bruja clan. Stuff like that. My brain hurts. It, it, it's basically... It's it, it's basically like... Too much of a threat by himself. Uh, as pointed out, uh, a bloodline thing, um... Past. Personal views, stuff like that. From us with the garage door. There's some double doors on the I gotta sneak? Side. I suck at sneaking. Inside. Just stay low. Uh, stay what's interesting to note is that the true Bruja are believed to have some control over time with the Temporis Discipline. Yes, but through blood right, magic, cool. vampires can have some level of control over time. Great, they're time lords. Because blood magic works in so strange ways in this game. Not just this game, but in all sorts of games. Alright, don't be suspicious. I hope that answered your question. Don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. I went there. Uh, wrong something way. to note. Some, so something to note is that uh, when you're sneaking up in the corner, you'll see the little uh, green dot. Or basically, it's a green circle with a number in it. When you're sneaking, uh, this will tell you like how you're being seen. Okay, am I going the right way? Where am I supposed to go? I'm blind. Oh. Uh, go back the way towards Jack. Okay, sneak. Yep. Don't be uh, so. Don't be uh, you are very welcome. Yeah, like there's a lot of very strange lore that takes a lot of deep diving into. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be. This is me when I'm sneaking. I just sing the "Don't be suspicious." Yuck! Uh, as you can see, he can start to see you now because of the. Uh... Na, 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 na. You can't see me. I'm sexy ninja. Well, it's not helped by the fact that you're also running. Okay, there well. is a there is a button that makes it so you can walk instead, and he's good to see you. Okay, so where do I go to hot go to? Where did he want me to go? I can't remember. Uh, in that where in the warehouse past the guy. So basically, right. Basically, go to. Uh, Hold on. Yeah. Shh. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Oh, it's up. You realize the guy basically just walks back and forth, right? Yes, I'm waiting for him to walk. Um, Silver Snake said, "I legitimately wonder about this game and its settings because it's oddly popular on Steam and a lot of people enjoy it. This game does have a cult classic. Um, I enjoy the game. I enjoy the setting. You can just yeah. that will always happen. So you can now walk where the explosion happened." Um, Damn it! I got detected by the enemy. 
Ah. So you have to do that again. But yeah, like this game, well, you also have to realize, like I said before, uh, you might not have been here when I said it, but uh, Vampire the Masquerade, yeah, as uh, Snoofkin said, it's crazy buggy and crazy fun. Yeah, this game is very buggy because um, it was kind of rushed out. Uh, another thing to keep in mind is that whenever they made this game, it had to get dis decisions run by both the, the developer of uh, Vampire the Masquerade, which was White Wolf at the time, and Activision, or was this Activision or Electronic War Arts that made it? I think it was Activision, but either way. Um, so this made it very hard to make some certain decisions. Can I and, use uh, command on this guy to make him go away? No. Damn it. You should be able to sneak. You should be able to sneak now. I'm just waiting for him to turn around. Okay, he's gone. Mm -hmm. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Yeah! Woo! Ow! Well, to some degree, okay, so Grim said, my guess is that it's because it's basically myth, uh, humanizing the fantasy of vampire's myth, and even if it brings about a shit ton of questions, it always can be traced back to politics and power struggles of the, can of the clans, but it always comes off as silly that these people are infighting when they should be rebuilding. My brain hurts again. Okay. Slowly so regretting before you, doing vampire's before you, uh, So before you continue with Jack, I need to address this. Please do. Um, so the thing is, is that it's because the fact that vampires are monsters. The world of darkness is very much a, has always been a reflection of our world through a shattered mirror. It is a darker reflection of our world, um, very much in the gothic aesthetic. Uh, in fact, Vampire is a gothic horror themed game. Now, when you say gothic, Vampire, do you mean fashion, Tim Burton, or are we talking about 1800s? Or uh, whatever the era of gothic. So, was. you know, the cathedral like aesthetic, you know, the gargoyles on churches and stuff like I that. Think that gothic aesthetic. Very, Thank yeah, you. that is the gothic aesthetic that it's kind of emulating. Mm -hmm. um, in fact, eventually you'll run across a repurposed church, uh, just as an example. So, the power struggles is the, of the clans is a thing, but it's also because of the fact that vampires are to some degree paranoid, and also to some degree it's... So, vampires are monsters. Deep down they're monsters because of the beast, that thing that just makes a vampire what they are. But they're always driven to kind of dominate each other because of the beast to some degree. Like it comes across as silly to you and to you and some degree to me. But they can't really help their natures. I mean, look at our world. <laughs> it's no different than that. Like you have all of these different countries that have all of these different ideas. Like we're not coming together to form like one super nation. It it's much the same. Yeah, I was about to say it's getting a bunch of big-headed, uh, big-headed, big-egoed, paranoid people in one room and try to make them agree on something. If you've ever done a class project in an art school, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, and, and it's always a case of well, if vampires are monsters, why do they make more vampires? Because vampires get lonely after a certain time. <laughs> I was about like, to say I'm making a friend. <laughs> well, yeah, like vampires get lonely. Sometimes accidents happen. Now, what I did say uh, when vampires can't accidentally make someone. Uh -huh. Yeah, but that's the thing. Van okay, so Silver Snake said the issues of our world stem from the human condition, though. That's the thing, though. Vampires have the human condition to some degree. Like, they see themselves as above humans, but they still suffer the same foibles. And it's even worse because they have power and they're going to live a long, long time. Like, they have immortality, and at some point they will get bored with uh, things because they can't really do the same things humans can do. I mean... At some point, their uh, sex drive dies. Uh, their uh, interest in arts and music and such like that will die and such. Like, these are just things that unfortunately happen due to the fact that they're undead. So they basically it's get a very bad case of depression. Uh, well, yes and no. Like, it's just something that doesn't really, like... I guess it would be more correct to say, imagine all of this stuff turns to ash in their mouths. Yeah. That's That's kind of a similar thing. Like... And the thing is, is that to some degree, vampires have a more metaphysical reason because metaphysicality kind of plays a big part in the world of darkness. Everything is metaphysical to some degree. In fact, if you follow mage, everything literally is metaphysical to some degree. <clears throat> grown hard. But, uh, yep. But it also comes down into the creation myth, which I can go into later once we finish the prologue because that kind of is important. But... Good, you can go into the creation myth when I go to the bathroom. <sighs> Uh, yeah. Uh, Scrim said, uh, there is no joy to be deprived from the already done, and if you have infinite time, you will do all that brought joy. That's only looking at it from one perspective, but again, <clears throat> vampires have the desire to kind of, uh, be on top, to dominate. Um, they're also paranoid, they distrust each other, um, and even if after a certain time you're gonna get bored, like, 
vampires are commonly like especially in this uh it's not uncommon for vampires to be kind of close-minded mm -hmm. isn't like, it like they say in uh, a uh, interview with a vampire like vampires sometimes still have the mindset that they had when they got turned so like yeah. if you had someone who was you know turned during around the time of the civil war and was siding with the uh southern tie the confederates it's really hard for them to work in a modern era yep well, it's also the fact that, um, like, why you were embraced is also a factor. Uh, that is dependent entirely on your sire. Like, you were targeted for one reason or another. Um, because of, as Jack will also point out later, like, a lot of vampires are also dominated by the blood. The blood is what drives a vampire, and the blood kind of enforces certain mindsets on it. It's why you have the clans. Mm -hmm. This is why like, I am the main. The blood will, like, if you're a Bruja... Uh, you're always going to have some level of being quote unquote hot blooded because that's just what unfortunately the Bruja blood does. The Bruja are, re are rebellious and passionate, and by passionate I mean angry. Uh, you can again, keep... it's it's not entirely the vampire's fault, but we'll keep go that later. Keep explaining. I have to get something. Okay, then while you do that, keep explaining. Use tiny words or big words <laughs> and define the big words. Uh. This movie and this is all very allegorical to humanity, huh? Yes. Um, so the thing to understand, and since Kat's not here right now, uh, this actually kind of goes. So going in, bit into the background of uh, the world of darkness, uh, particularly Fair for Empire. Uh, this all actually started at uh, the death of Cain and Abel. Uh, I don't think I have to explain to anybody what that story is, but for basic rundown, for those who somehow don't know what that story is, you know. Uh, God created man, kicked the man out of the Garden of Eden. Uh, Adam and Eve had sons. Uh, two of them were Cain and Abel. Um, Abel, you know, had a bountiful harvest and sacrifice to God. Cain did not. Uh, well, Cain did, but apparently God wanted the blood sacrifice. So, eh. And um, Cain, in his jealousy, killed his brother Abel and was cursed by God. Uh, in this, that curse manifested as vampirism which Cain would eventually be able to spread to others. Uh, he originally did this to uh, specific individuals. <laughs> that Adam fought Zeus for humanity in Ragnarok. Now, I would like to point out, uh, both Adam and Eve and Zeus are real individuals in the world of darkness. Adam and Eve in particular, and Zeus is more of a metaphorical concept. Because again, mage. <laughs> Ragnarok is a uh, kind of a thing because every vampire, well, not just every vampire, but every splat in the world of darkness had an end game scenario. Vampires had Gehenna, werewolves had the apocalypse, uh, mages had ascension, stuff like that. But uh, going back to what you said before, uh, Snoofkin, it's all very allegorical to humanity. Well, yeah, because vampires and humanity are always tied together. Like, you can't really embrace, uh, because of the fact that, obviously, you know, the first vampires were human, you can't really, like, turn a dog into a vampire and such like that. That would be badass, though. Yeah. Although you can give, now, something you can do is you can feed vampire blood to an animal or a person, and that becomes a ghoul, where essentially they gain a few of the aspects of uh, vampirism. Like, they become more long-lived or long-lived and such. Uh, stronger, faster than normal humans, but they're still humans. And they have to keep drinking at least some vampire blood a month. Hi. Uh, so, uh, what have I missed so far? I was just explaining, like, the background and lore of this, uh, this setting. Like, how, uh... This goes into the mythology of uh, Adam and Eve and uh, Cain and Abel, because Cain was actually the very first vampire. There's a lot of vampire media that used Cain as the uh, very first vampire. Your source, animals can become ghouls. Yes, animals can become ghouls. Um, some will actually, particularly the Gangrel, will often uh, turn uh, animals into ghouls. Oh, that's not as cute as I was hoping for. You have to, again, make sure that you at least give them a drop of... Uh, blood every month to make sure that they can stay that way. Come now, here, my ghoulish hermit crab. If, Here's if, some blood. <laughs> now, if, say, for example, if, with this, your age is also kind of temporarily shut off if you're a ghoul, but if you're, say, a human, and you've been given blood for, like, um, every month for a hundred years, and if you're stopped giving given blood, 
Um, after a while, your true age will catch up with you. Fuck. Anyway, let's go. Let's continue. Let's stop staring at Jack's beautiful eyes. The Sabbat, you see, they don't have the most rigorous training. In the back, but that poor sod is lucky that he knows he's a vampire. Hold on. Turning on fan. Need cold air because I'm not taking my cape off. Yes, I'm wearing a cape. And by a cape, I mean a blankie draped over my shoulders dramatically. Yeah, he's probably just turned and beaten <laughs> over the head. They like to do that. Big shock troops. Cannon fodder. Put him out of his misery. Can I see? I will do my best. He is a vampire, so be ready. I have a plan. Go get him. I'm going to suck his blood. Or we engage in combat. Your unarmed combat and feet is a da 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 da. Um, so F1 is fist. Yep. It just readies your fists and such. Uh, uh, and Snoop Dogg said, and the best school is the fleet footed god. <laughs> uh, how do I get out of this perspective? F. That's. And if. Feed and if you, makes uh, me fit. I believe if you zoom. I believe also if you zoom in with the mouse. I am zooming in with the mouse. It does that. Uh, you'll probably have to look in the, uh. Well, actually, no. Hit H. I believe it's H, because it's the same thing to ready your, uh... Thank you. There, there we go. It's been a while since I played this game. I'm going to use... Legends. My, This is actually the game that I first... When I first started in the uh, World of Darkness proper. Um, no Valentine! Uh, my, ver my, very first my very first character was a uh, Tremere who went by John Marcos, who I eventually mm -hmm. played in Requiem. But yeah, if you also want to uh, do that, you can obviously see how uh, Blood Strike works. Yummy. I'm hurting him. Now, yeah. Now, if you do kill it, as you can see, you're also getting blood back for every time you uh, use it. Okay. And you've gained your first true weapon, a tire iron. Ah. Now, you can actually you can actually use this to uh, do a sneak attack. That's that. Sounds like you got another pack moving. I just, I just used Fire my blood abilities and just was like, die, die, die. All right, head down into the basement through the grate in there. Keep that tire iron handy. I'll be there in a minute. Or I'll just shoot them with my blood strike. Where's the grate I'm supposed to go down? Uh, you have to go through the door behind him first. Hello, door behind. Ooh, what's in here? Nothing. That is, that is the grate. If I'm perfectly, yep, Why can't I? Great. You're standing on top of it. Cause that's logical. Well, to be fair, as you can see how it opens, it wouldn't exactly open if you're standing on top of it. I'm being mocking. Hi. Stop. Hi. Oh look, a guard. Uh, you basically just want to talk to this. This is the uh, tutorial about you know, talking to people and such. You, just stay back. Keep your distance. Okay. How do I just walk up to him? Who the hell are you? Are you involved in all this? Because I'm gonna radio this in, and SWAT will be all over this place. Um. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Now you have the dominate answer, you have the persuade answer, or other things. I said, I, I, I... Dominated? Yep. Now do keep in mind that when you dominate, you do use up blood, so... I'm, that's Im that's not important right now, but it could come up important if you're in combat or anything like that, yeah. or if you're running low on blood. Ba stay here, it will be safer for you. Okay. And then go through the door that he is to the right of, or to the right of him. Okay, hold on. And there is a Sabat. This is going to be teaching you about sneak attacks. How do I sneak attack? Uh, get out your weapon with H. And then you have to be sneaking and then... And then hit E, I believe? Yep, there you go. It's basically like, uh, when you're opening a door, you just walk up and just do this. Because that would make... Honest, Honestly, this is something I don't tend to do, but... Sounds yeah. like the Sabbat's getting scattered. I'm gonna keep an ear to the ground. Be careful going forward here. Could be a whole mess of them hold up. I have. Okay. Discipline. Blood buffs and ability. Yep. 
but you shouldn't... It's just explaining, like, the basic stuff. You shouldn't need to use blood buff here. Shouldn't. It should be, uh... It, but it will tell you, uh, after you fail, what the uh, skill level is. Oh, no, you will have to use blood buff here. I used it. This, yep, this will... And then just uh, lockpick again. This will boost your lockpicking up to four if memory serves. Yep. yep. You said I can drink the blood of a vampire, right? Yes, but in this game, you really can't. Damn it. Um... The reason you can't really do that is because the fact... Okay, this basically just runs you down, you know. Yeah. Basic stuff. Um, so, drinking the blood of a vampire will lead to something known as uh, the blood bond. Which is bad. Or vinculum. Uh, it will essentially... Like, the first drink isn't going to be a problem, but if you subsequently drink three times... Now, this game kind of ignores that with, you know, the blood strike and oh, all that. Oh, I'm supposed now, to use auspice to defeat my enemy. I am so sorry. Now, something they didn't know uh, with Blood Strike is that if you Blood Strike multiple times, uh, the blood isn't going to rush back to you. Like, say for example, if you you see how you did it like three times, mm -hmm. the first time and the second, if you do it in three times in rapid succession, the first and second uh, times it won't return blood to you. It'll only do it the third time. Oh, so be make sure to spread your app a little bit. Yep. Yep. As you can see, this is basically just allows you to. Uh, Perceive your, t your foes. It it's basically just, you know, doing another stealth skill with all specs. Activate it and then just walk up to a Ow. stealth kill. Uh, uh, yep. It was an accident. It was an accident. You weren't stealthing at all. Uh... All right. You keep you yeah. It's it's not wanting letting you use. Uh, no. You're basically gonna want to try and stealth kill him. So sneak, have your tire iron handy, and then auspex. Gotcha. And then just walk up and stealth kill him. Damn it! Oh, guess you're gonna have to fight him then. With melee. Watching uh, two people with mobs fight. There you go. Hi. And then no longer have to stealth. Turn up the horns until we know the score, though. Head through here. Come to an elevator around the way. Oh, me too. And you'll be getting a gun soon. So. Give me a gun. <laughs> if I'm not back in ten minutes, call the president. What door? Silver snake. Silver snake said that girl looks like a high. A high model survivor from Brisk of Rain, too. Yeah, given this game, I wouldn't be surprised. Two guards ahead. You still have to incapacitate and kill them. Mm -hmm. You mean use blood? You mean use, uh. Blood purge. Alright, I'll use blood purge. There you go. That's blood purge. Now, you can also use blood strike during this time to, uh, give yourself blood back. Ow, 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 ow. Yep, we're gonna have to teach you how to play this game, apparently. Shut up! Now, here's a time where blood purge would have been useful, because you could have, uh, you know... I really need blood. Quick, someone get me a blood. Give me a Capri Sun full of blood. Dominate a target discipline, the effect will use a dominate. Yep. Dominate will basically make it so that they're easier to deal with. Alright. So, dominate, which is command in my case. You have been detected by your enemy. Alright, alright. Control! And then just command him and then just walk right by him. Alright. Oh, and go you to don't them. have to sneak. In. You don't have to sneak anymore. Yay! No more sneaking. Oh God! Pick up and throwing. Really? Is this a thing? Yep. Uh, to be fair, outside the tutorial, you don't really worry about it. Dang. I mean, you can. You can do more with it, but that's only if you're feeling. Over there. Go over there. Oh, 
be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Hola. <laughs> yep, this is where you're gonna get a gun yeah, tutorial. Yeah. So yeah, uh, I'll explain in a second why I think this is completely fucking stupid. What guns? Nope. Gangbangers? Aye, aye, Captain. Guns, they're noisy, they're clumsy, practically useless against vampires, but still, a kindred's gotta keep up with the times. And in modern day Los Angeles, that means coming strapped. Useless? Well, yeah, some are more lethal than others, of course. Watch out for those shotguns. Ouch, those things can smart, I tell you. I heard Head up and clear out what's left of them. Can't have them running their mouths by the end this. I'm gonna make sure there's no stragglers. I'm going to eat that rat on the floor. Uh, okay. So, uh, you know how, uh, every, uh, you, you know how you had all those, uh, individuals that you had to deal with for the last, uh, half hour? Uh -huh. You know, the clearly, uh, inhuman creatures, the ones that would explode into, uh, that uh, exploded when they were killed. Yeah, all, all of those were gangbangers. The, uh, you know, the ones who, uh, you know, died when, uh, when they were killed, especially by the sheriff or other things. Yeah, gangbangers. <laughs> Hi, I'm just eating rats right now because I need blood. Ugh. Yeah, that's why this is one of my favorite. This is just one of those uh, introductions that I just find hilarious. It's like, you go through all of this, you deal with the quote unquote spot, but then it's like, nope, turns out they were just human gangbangers. Like, what? <laughs> I can't do that, so I have to go down this elevator. Yep. That is the fastest elevator in universe. Okay, so where do I have to go? Not there, because there's no doorknob. Get careful, there are uh, enemies nearby. You can use your blood powers and guns and all sorts of things. But can I use... Uh, Snoofkin said, I remember getting this game for Christmas when I was 14. My dad thought, they want a game with a lady with big boobs on the cover? What could go wrong? If only he knew how much further this game went. Yep. Especially if you start getting into the lore. You can shoot them, you can use blood. Uh, this range, you're probably not going to hit the broadside of a barn with, uh, a gun. bullets. Well, I mean, you are highly inaccurate. Yep. Screw you! I'm, the, I'm accurate! I killed you're him. You're trying to you're trying to use a revolver at long range. Yeah, you're not going to be the most accurate. Anyway, uh, this is the end of the tutorial. Congratulations. It only you took us. Die. It only took us an hour. Everyone slinks <laughs> back to their corners of the city for the night. Is it? Until the next night. Bring. some way to strike back. Harry Dodge spinning all that and so on and so on and so on. So this is normal. Now, to be honest, came at a. Yep, this is normal. An interesting. Camarilla to Sabat. Now, in LA, these are the new kids on the block. There's already plenty of kindred had stakes down in California long before them. Now, we got every ancient kindred rivalry playing out all over the city. A lot of tension out there. A lot of fear. A lot of jittery, high strung predators clinging to their little pieces of eternity. Why don't they just go to blood banks and take the blood that's quote unquote expired? Uh, this is where you're going to tell me that the chemicals that they put in the blood to help with blood transfusion is actually bad for vampires, right? No. Then you'd have to explain why you need the blood. Uh, I mean, if and, they're going mean, to throw it out, you could just pretend you're a blood disposal unit. I think you, you have to realize how many vampires there are. Okay. Blood disposal unit. Here's your gun. If you make it back, stop in at the last round. This is bar downtown here. I'll fill you in on the politics. <laughs> now that's the stuff that'll kill you. <laughs> Good luck. I hope he's in the next game. Probably. Uh, if you uh, actually pre-order the game, then you get his outfit as a uh, pre-order bonus. Uh, Snoopkin asked, that's interesting, who had stakes in California before? Uh, Snoofkin said, also, stakes. Um, <laughs> that would, that would be the Anarchs. Oh no, a third family. 
the Anarchs are essentially anarchists. They are vampires who don't want to be ruled under the thumb of the Camarilla. They were able to kick the Camarilla out of California at one point. But then we came back. Uh, if memory serves, uh, they were eventually able to turn California to an Anarch free stake, where essentially the vampires, uh, the Camarilla, were not a problem. Uh, despite the fact that the Camarilla believed that um, if they weren't around, vampirism would lead to lawlessness and such, uh, the Anarch's free state actually was pretty successful. Oh, good. There's email in this game. Uh-huh. Okay, I just gained two experience. Where to put, where to put. So, experience. As you can see, um, you don't gain much experience in this. And In fact, in the tabletop, you don't gain much experience. Yay. But that's also because things don't really cost to, like, that massively amount. Now, your attributes will, and uh, your attributes and disciplines will cost more than your abilities will. Mm -hmm. uh, if you scroll over, you'll see how much they cost each. Uh, I'd say for right now, you should just bank it. There's no real reason to buy uh, anything. Yeah. Plus, I don't think you actually have any enough to buy anything. That's just, like, a little info about you. All right. Uh, that's just active quests and gives you a little bit of info. So, welcome to your first apartment. The There's prince was very generous. The prince is an asshole. Now, there are two things in this apartment. You Well, actually, three things you can do in this apartment. You can, uh, obviously, you have a blood bag, which... Uh, this is essentially just an inventory item that you can use to restore your blood points. How much inventory so do I have? You have unlimited inventory. Yoink! But this is also the game where because you have unlimited inventory, sometimes you'll have to start scrolling through to try and find some things. I'm fine with that. <laughs> um, so, there are three things you can do in your apartment. You can check your email. You can it? watch TV. Or you can listen to the radio. Now, one thing I like about this game is that uh, both of the uh, the TV will actually give you, uh, like, hints as to what's going to be things that are happening in the world, which is pretty cool. Uh, it actually postulates things that are happening both in the game world and also the world outside of California and things that pertain to the world of darkness in general. And then you have the radio, which is more about gags and such. It's just little jokes, but occasionally you will get some bits of snippet of information. Though you can usually spend like half an hour to an hour just listening to stuff on the TV and the radio. Yoink! Um, so... Oh, look, he gave, he gave you $100. I can buy a whole soda with that. Uh, dar so, which one's the trimmer again? Uh, you will not be dealing with him. Uh, Strauss is actually somewhat important because he is technically the, uh, the leader of the trimmer within the city, which you know. Yes. Um... Derpasaurus said, Radio Lady is best radio. <laughs> Password. Ilsa at home. Okay, this is the sunrise. Shit, password. Oh, sorry. List. Oh, wait. Email. Sunrise. Enter. In case you will contact you when you arrive in Santa Monica. Santa Monica! Waste no time meeting him with him. And our sponsor for the video! Because even during this time... Spam yeah, email. As uh, Derpasaurus pointed out, there's also stuff in the bathroom you can pick up. Right. Just inventory items and such. Uh, from Crime Pewter, da -da, looking for that lazy-ass ex-husband who's late on his alimony payments. How about that jerk that knocked you up? Well, the jerk who knocked me up is kind of dead now. Okay, that's Only not. Didn't knock you up. Uh, now here is actually a uh, a thing that you can do as a side quest. What? Uh, there's a bail bondsman in the uh, in Santa Monica that you can help for side quests. Nice. I recommend doing it because uh, experience. Welcome to town. Come over to my place once you get situated, and we'll talk to you about what you'll be needing to get the job done. I'm now going to pick up an explosives right now. Yes, that's not going to make the freaking NSA cure. Wait, NSA wasn't really a thing yet, was it? Mm -hmm. You'll need to get the job done. I'm going to pick up explosives right now. Some of my, some aristolite. I should be back by the time you come over. I'm at 24 Main Street in number four. Walk to the end of the alleyway, and my building is in the next one to the right. Um, the game begins. A pawn is moved. Foreshadowing. Bathroom. 
Do vampires yep. really go to the bathroom anymore? No. Ugh, drugs. You've got, you've got the drugs there, and I believe there was something behind the toilet. A watch. Yep. Just vendor items, really, because, uh, well, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah uh, if you want, you can turn on the TV and you can, uh, see uh what's happening like i said out in the world and also what could uh yep a massive gelatinous creature washing up on the beaches i'm sure that's you know has nothing to do with things that are happening okay so now what do we do ow ow i can't <laughs> i'm a vampire and have to closing a door <laughs> you're a vampire ladies and gentlemen Gruesome remains found at the pier. Police baffled. Ooh. Carnival. I'm sure, I'm sure that will not come up whatsoever. Carnival of death. Also, this wallpaper is hideous. This is like a I mean, house it's you... The, it's the 90s. What do you expect? No, 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 no. This is a ha This looks like a building I would have to work on in freaking House Flipper, which I really got to get back to sooner or later. Because everyone wants me to get back to House Flipping. Oh. They now have a cyberpunk edition to the house flipper, which is free, and my brain's like, I can make a cyberpunk hey, hey, lady. You, you got some change, lady. And welcome to your first uh, moral choice. You can give them a change, become a little bit human, you know, gain a humanity, or things like that. Well, my humanity's what? Fine? <sighs> Snoopkin said, nice. police Thank suspect you. that vampires may be involved in. Hey, are you a vampire? I just gave him a dollar. He can buy a stick yep. of gum. Ooh, sexy vampire walk. God, this outfit looks horrible. I need a mod to fix that outfit, please. Just give her pants. There really, pants. there really isn't. Pants. I want pants. A skirt is not useful when you're a vamp. That's why. <laughs> what the living hell? Oh, hey, I'm sure you're not important in any way, shape, or form. Should I go talk to the guy who's spitting blood? I mean, you can. So, welcome to the city of Santa Monica. Now, right off the bat, you can see one of my favorite things about this game. Just look at the atmosphere. Just drink that atmosphere in. I feel dirty like I'm in Gotham and I'm waiting for Batman to come. I mean, to be fair, gothic uh, punk and stuff. Well, I shouldn't say punk, but well, I mean, to some degree, it is a punk aesthetic. But it's very much of a gothic aesthetic. Everything is grimy and dirty. The world is darker and such. But, uh, yeah. Elysium is Let's a domain of a powerful vampire. Here you will be able to... I will not be able to use any of my disciplines. Yep. Basically, uh, if you're in a... Uh, so, a prince of the city. A vampire is essentially the leader of the city. Uh, they are the prince. And uh, they get to make the rules and such. Though, more or less. Uh, Derpasaur said, I think there is mods for outfits... That, but only for specific classes. I think the Malkavian has one. Possibly. Um, anyway, let's go talk to the Bleeding Man who, uh... Hello, Mercurio. Those mothers ripped me off. They're dying here. Oh. What do you want? Uh, yeah. You look uh, uh, right. I'm... Oh, I can feel a draft on my fucking inside. I do love the little guitar Shut string. Bring. The blood ain't working no more. My head feels cracked. Ew. Uh, as Stufi can point out, they used the limitations of the time to the max. Yes, they did indeed. What is this? Oh, is this my rib? Oh, holy shit. My rib is poking through my side? Oh, I'm all numb. You gotta look and tell me. Yep, that's a rib. You say you got five minutes to live tops. Or I can... It's a broken bottle. Goddamn chemist. Can't trust any operators in L.A. I verified him. Organizations seem reliable. The guy mixes up speed. His crew sells it. Occasionally does explosives. I set up a drop. I show up at the beach with the money, right? Four of these guys, they come out of nowhere. Junkie bricks hit me with a bat. <coughs> it feels like I got a friggin' horse kick in it. Never should have gone alone. Amateur move. You should have handled those bricks. Goddamn dirty cow, that bastard. You're such a New Yorker. Cocksuckers beat me rotten, left me for a stiff. I had to crawl to my car, crawl my ass up here. The vamp blood's the only thing holding me together. 
So he's a vampire? They got the money, they got the astrolite. Nope. He is a ghoul. Oh, he's very, very alive. Yeah. I was because again, as I said, vampire or uh, ghouls uh, are more resilient. Uh, once the vampire blood kicks in, he'll be fine because they do have increased re uh, regeneration, but it'll take a bit. How do I get there? In a pool in my own blood, and you want friggin' directions? But all right, uh, down the street, in the parking garage, stairs down to the beach. On the right. Those better not be some of my last words. How do I get it back? Gotta, gotta get it back from <laughs> I'm making him talk to me. You're dying. You're talking to me. I kill him. Do whatever you people do. I blew it, I know. Yeah, if you could. Yeah. Uh so Snufkin said the fleet for the god. I need something for the pain. Ah. One more thing. Um, that is a fact. If you're playing a Malkavian, he will refer to Mercurio as the fleet-footed god. I got a way of getting people what they need. You don't say anything, I can help you out. Okay, so we gotta get his fucking whatever that thing is he wants. Uh, the astrolite, uh, explosives. You'll be going to the beach to do this. I thought there were side quests. There are. Okay. I just gotta find Don't them. worry. Yeah, don't worry. Like, this is basically the main quest, but you're not... Now, this game does have kind of a hub system, so you can go back and forth. This isn't a case of once you leave Santa Monica, you're not able to come back. What's up, dude? Oh, it's locked. Fine! But yep. Drink in that atmosphere. I feel like I should take a shower. <laughs> now, one thing you can do if you're ever desperate for blood is uh, this lady here, pay, right here. You can pay the prostitutes to go to a uh, behind one of the locations and then feed off of her. But you really don't need to do that because every now and then, uh, if you're watching, you can find someone who is uh, behind one of the alleyways. But might as well take a little bit to uh, get yourself familiarized. You will be eventually going to the clinic. Not for the moment, though. Aww. Ooh, a tattoo parlor! Mm -hmm. Now, some Aww. of these buildings aren't actually places you enter. Pawn shop. Now, the pawn shop is basically just where you buy and sell stuff. Yep, this like is... Like that watch. This is definitely a pawn shop! <laughs> uh, and her quickly, there is a side quest you can do for her. This person later. Uh, how's it going? You um looking to buy or sell or uh what's your name? They call me Trip. I own this shop. Nice to meet you, Trip. Thanks. You uh you to Santa Monica. E it's not a big surprise. We get new faces through here night after night. Used to be more tourists, but now I don't know, man. It's more like drifters. Beats me. Santa Monica is dead. I don't know why anyone comes out here. Anymore. What's in Santa Monica in real world? I mean, I couldn't tell you. Uh, so um, Snufkin said no, something interesting. Not, the thing with Mer really. Mercury is he was the mediator Sorry. between gods and men, as Mercurio between men and vampires. This is very true. That's the fleet footed god. Which again shows just how uh, the Malkavian madness can come across as actually quite brilliant at times. It's not a big surprise. We get you. Anyway, so uh, Trip just gave you a quest to buy him drugs. Yep. Thanks for coming back. What you need? Uh, need... You can also buy and sell from him. Um, do you sell weapons? Um, no, not not really. Sorry. You will sell weapons to me. All right, here's what we got today. Wow. Yep, you can buy things, but there's really no reason to do so. Also, you could have acquired a baseball bat at some point. Yeah, I picked it off a dead guy. I'll sell this. I made... Estrogen! <laughs> I'm... Why am I carrying a 
bottle of estrogen around? I'm not pre I'm not I'm not PMSing. Do I need this for anything? No. Okay. It's vendor items. Okay, so that basically means Vendi. Mm -hmm. Alright. See you. Yeah, I have a hundred and twenty bucks on my I can buy a whole shoe. Why am I why, why am I, I mean, one of the things that's advantage for a vampire is you don't have to worry about food or water or anything like that. No. So you can save on the bills. Yeah, but I still need to pay water to shower. I mean, yeah, to some degree. I like but showering. I don't know about but, you. But your food bill alone you won't have to worry about. No, it's just I have to just chase down people in corners and suck their blood. Like this hey, cop. Baby, need no, lady. Also, your tattoo is horrible. All right, we're going so, to the to get to the beach. You have to go through the parking lot. This is the weirdest way well, to go to a pe go to a beach. All I'm saying. Now, uh, you're going to see uh, these two characters talking. I recommend listening to their dialogue because it will be important. You can go right up and towards the gate if you want. It's not like it matters. But anyway, yeah. Damn. Outfit like her. Bullshit. No, no. The guy was literally slashed to ribbons. Was it a werewolf? More than likely. This is why you didn't get invented to her Hernandez's wedding. That being said, there are so many creatures in the world of darkness, not just the uh, traditional splats. Like, you can get all sorts of things. Dragon? Yes, you can have those too. Yeah, I want a dragon! I want to be a vampire! But you, wouldn't even ha you could even have Slender Man. I mean, if it's if it's creepypasta or if it's urban legend, it probably exists. Flying spaghetti monster. Uh, with mage, anything is possible. Oh, All right, so here you're gonna meet some uh, interesting characters. Uh, what? Those men you are looking for. Huh? Never mind. You wouldn't understand. Try me. You wouldn't understand. Did she get bit by a Mercutio? Mercutio. A Malkavian? Yeah. Ooh. Well, yes, she might have a bit of the Malkavian madness. I got a Oh, look, a steak. Mmm, steak. <laughs> so, if you're curious, uh, going up to the pier will let you get a closer look at the body. That was, uh, you know, shredded and such like that. I want to see the body, I want to see the body, I want to see the body. Werewolf! <laughs> and by yep, I mean nope. Wolf? Giant fluffy chicken? <sighs> okay, I approve of that pun. Snoofkin just said, now you have a steak in California too. Yeah. I approve. Okay. Sup, cop? You can also find a stick of bubblegum around here. Oh yes, because that will help me in my adventures. Yep. But if you uh, walk up to uh, the body, you can see how bad it's uh, mangled, and also you get a quest. Ooh, 2004 mangled. I'm sure the quest will. Yeah. I'm sure the quest won't come up in any way, shape, or form. Pretty! I want to go on that. You cannot. Oh. Ooh, a psychic! Yeah, I can't go to the doors. Okay, okay. Yes, uh. If you go back to the arcade, there's a stick of bubblegum in there. Where's the arcade? Uh, back up the pier. Okay, I'm on the pier. Uh, right next to the psychic. Um, psychic. Go left. Yeah. It's basically, 
Go okay, go straight. Got it. And then go then go left into that open thing. There should be a stick of bubblegum somewhere if memory serves, unless they removed it. Because this is the pre patch. Or not pre patch, but uh New patch. Yep, there it is. There's a Call of Duty pinball game. Yeah, there is a bunch of references. Yeah, Activision did this game. Pitfall. Which isn't his Yep. Uh, Dripsaur said this was a missed opportunity for mini games. I mean, limitations and whatnot. Rampage. I want to play this. I want to play Rampage. I mean, heck, the Call of Duty one doesn't make any sense because you know, Call of Duty came out in 2001, and this game chronologically is in 1999. It's definitely before 2000. So, how that got there, I have no clue. Okay, let me see when Call of Duty came out. I can't believe you're googling up. When did Call of Lightning Duty? Heh, <laughs> Duty. Uh, apparently it's the best-selling series of the ge series of all time. Uh huh. Well, allegedly. Allegedly. See my uh huh and the allegedly's. So what am I gonna do with the stick of gum? Uh, you can just sell it later. Aww, I cannot transfer it for good and goods and services. Uh, two thousand and three. So yeah, this is definitely uh, chronologically speaking, this is definitely a bit out there. Hi, dude. Um, uh, Snoofkin uh, said, "Holy crap!" Really and I thought I knew the game, vampires? this game inside and out. Uh, if the head vampire dies, we all become human again, right? Only in movies. Oh. But how about blood transfusions? If I get a full Fun fact, blood he's not actually incorrect. I can become Shh, human again, why? right? What? Did he accidentally there, get turned into a vampire? I can do? You can try to not. How? I don't want this. I want to be human again. I can't. What's the best thing to say to him? Uh, number two. Thank you. It's okay, my dude. Now, with that guy, if you wanted to, you could actually uh, get him convinced that uh, unicorn blood will cure him, and you can. I am not going to be that him. much of a dick. So, uh, what he said was technically true, where he said if you kill the head vampire. The problem is the head vampire is Cain, and Cain has something known as the sevenfold curse. Uh, what this is is that because God wanted Cain to suffer, um, any damage that is inflicted upon Cain will be returned to sevenfold. So good luck actually trying to kill Cain. So basically if I hit him in the nuts it will be seven times as painful for me. Return back. Yes. So uh, all of these vampires on the beach are thin bloods. M mur murder. No. No. I, I wasn't here when it happened. Don't be mean. Easy. Easy. No, no. Um, Snoofkin said, you can also send a map to the president with a stake. You can. Derpasaur said, but you could make bank off this guy like a thousand dollars. Yes, you could, but it's n that's me. I'm a good person. Do I scare you? No, no, no. I, I have a sp speech problem. S so sorry. See, I'm like, don't insult the guy's speech impediment. So, yeah. Um, all of these characters are, uh, we know we can't no. hunt around here, all right? We're minding our own business. No reason to hassle the weaklings. You mean you ain't here to run us off? We're getting pretty sick of it. Someone's citing domain, or in the worst case, is hunting us for sport. Why? I don't know. We all seem to have come down with the same disease. Oh, who am I kidding? We're a bad horror show, all right? We seem to be the runts. The mistakes. You types call us thin bloods. I say we're all equally screwed. Clan. See, I've heard all that before. And, and I still don't know what the hell anyone's talking about. I'd like to know just what I've become. We'd all like to know just, just what the, the hell kind of devil's contract we've apparently signed. I'd just come to town for the surf tournament. Seems like years ago, but it's, well, been about six months now. Every night during the finals, I used to hit the local diner after the beach parties fizzled out in the AM. That's where I met her. Ooh. She had a natural beauty. Not like all the plastic. And I will be right back while you talk to this guy. Her name was Lily. 
I remember introducing myself, the way she seemed grateful for the company. Well, a few nights after our meeting, we were on the beach alone. She tried to tell me what she was, but I didn't understand. And so she showed me. I was furious with her when I took it all in. I cursed her and left, never really knowing what I was. Well, I realise now how she must have felt. Aww. So here I am now, the mystery to myself. Clinically, yes, but honestly, I don't know. I suppose I'd have moved on by now if I didn't think she'd show up one of these nights. There's a lot I've got left to say to her. Hi. Most of them just recently arrived in LA. Got chased off by the Sabbath or some such thing from their home cities. They're more in the dark than I am. They're a good bunch, but they've been through a lot. It's affected them. Well, I hope you have better luck than I did. No one's been particularly friendly to me in this city. Only reason we're in Santa Monica is because we haven't been chased out yet. Oh, we'd appreciate it. Oh, before I forget, name's E. Black-haired beauty over there's Rosa. Sees the future, so she says. That nervous bloke is Copper. And the one who can't speak so well is Julius. Kids gloves with him. They've had it rough. Seems no one will talk about it. This all started that night in the diner. Maybe you could start there. Hmm. That's what Lily tried to tell me. But what I don't understand are the rules and the terms and the reasons and some of them are at our throats claiming we're harbingers of the apocalypse. That's what I want to know. I accepted a quest to learn more of the stuff. Okay, so Snoopkin said it's a bit no. depressing. We're going to be playing as one of them in the next China. game. It refers to Thin Bloods. What? We're going to China? Is he smiling? The father. Is it, is it the father behind him? Foreshadowing! You chased it for the one at the top of the city. On the sea. Oh, She's Makovian. She is that she got bit by a Makovian. Mm -hmm. You can tell. She's crazy. <gasps> no, she's actually not. Oh god. Oh god. She sees the future. I do not under I saw Each it. of those three things will come Sometimes to pass. I see. Thanks. Nothing. Disregard what I say. Come on. I don't know what I'm saying. Forget what I say. Murder. Yes, the killer is dead. He moves soon and travels to the heart of the Angelis, to the home of the stars, and then returns fulfilled. Foreshadowing. <laughs> Are you just the foreshadowing fairy now? Mm hmm. I don't know what I'm saying. Forget what I say. Hmm. I know. All right, so we got to go up this pier. Uh, Snoofkin, also. Uh, the developers have said we will eventually be able to join a full-on clan at some point in the game, so... In the new one? Mm-hmm. Oh, goody. Good. Yep. Uh, so, Thin Bloods. Uh, uh, you know how I said that um, every vampire is descended from Cain? Yeah. Well, the thing is, the further along, like, it, it's much like human bloodlines. Uh. The more vampire, like... A line is embraced, uh, the weaker that line will become. So, for instance, the first generation, Cain, is the most powerful. Then you have the second generation, and the third. Um, now, the third generation is kind of where all vampire current clans descend from. Uh -huh. um, I'm not quite sure, Snoofkin. I can only tell you that's what they've said. Like, it seems to be. A, it, again, I couldn't really tell you much more. I mean, we haven't really seen enough of the game to be able to give you that, but that's just what they've said. Um, yeah. Did you just start combat? No, he hit me. That's because you were sneaking around. And you started combat. <laughs> I'm sorry. Was I not supposed to do that? I mean, that's, uh, that's one way you can do this, is just straight up killing everyone. There's also the option of talking, but I guess we've gone straight up to the murder option. To be fair, eventually you will basically go with the murder option anyway, so... Now, you can feed off this guy and kill him, because this is a combat zone, oh. so you don't have to worry about the masquerade if you want to. Yep. This is one of those zones where you can just straight up kill someone. Uh, Get back here, bitch! I want to eat you! Uh, at this point, you might as well just blood strike him down. Too late. But, uh... But, yeah. So, Thin Bloods are the 14th and 15th generations of vampires. 
and uh, it is believed that the time of the Thin Bloods will herald the uh, coming of Gehenna, and this is in fact true, though uh, not in the way that people thought. So, now how this is normally supposed to work is you talk to the guy at the door, and this will lead to, uh, you know, you going into the house and talking to the guy who is currently shooting at you, but because of the fact that, well, you kind of jumped the gun and walked around the corner, you uh, triggered combat, so... I would like to point out it was purely accidental. Ooh. Got a gun again. I mean, what do you want me? I'm sorry. I failed. Ooh, cocaine. But you can't take it. Are you trying to grab him? Yep. He has to be uh, stunned or something like that in order to be able to be grabbed. And he's dead. Nope, oh, he's not dead yet. Yep. You're gonna have to try and dominate him again. Or you can just kill him. Well, we're gonna just go through blood purging and merry merriment. Hey, hold it! There should only be one more guy left. The, uh... going to be the cat's uh, last time. There's also, you do have a blood ability, which... I need blood for that. So, grab the astrolite. And, and uh, loot before the we leave... Yep. Loot the shit! Right, before... Well, there's one more thing we have to do. Before we leave. So, you see that grate right there by the, uh, the washer dryer? Uh, with the lock picking thing here, there's actually a way where if you were an Osferatu, you could have actually done this whole thing stealthily. So open the grate, and then uh, go inside by sneak by sneaking, and then you'll find uh, Mercurius money. Nice. Hmm? Okay. Blood buff. I mean, there's no reason to blood buff now because... No, blood buff for lockpicking. But you don't need to lockpick. There's nothing else here. Great, I need human blood. There's a dog I can feed on! Yeah, this is... Yeah, uh, you're gonna end up dying if you do that. What? Just take out your gun and shoot him. You're dead. Well, I'll try to redo this again. Just be glad this uh, this game auto saves because otherwise. Whew. So okay. how about we try doing this proper this time? Yes, Matt Yoda. Uh, Gerpasaurus said no, don't hurt Doggo. Snoofkin said that was epic. So basically, just walk up to this guy and uh, he will initiate dialogue with you. Help ya. Um. Let me in. Okay, you can go on. And if you really want to make my night, go ahead and start some shit in there, because I would love it. All right. Now, I would recommend, uh... <laughs> Snoof can epic epoch. <laughs> what do you want me to do? Do you want me to feed on this guy? Can I feed on this guy? Uh, you have to wait. Uh, I would recommend uh, making sure you have Blood Purge ready. Ready! Now uh, go through the door and then talk to the uh, the one guy. The uh, guy with the nice suit. You uh. don't need to go through that. It, you'll find the door. It's the one where you don't have the lockpick. Alrighty. What's up, guys? Everything's in kilograms. What kind of hell is this? You might also want to... Oh yeah, you don't have a gun yet. I was like, you probably should ready your gun, but you don't have a gun yet. I'll take care of don't that. Go, don't, go down, don't go down there yet, because otherwise it will okay, act yeah. up. Listen up, girl. Cash money up front, and that is non-negotiable in your case. So we're clear? I have got not one moral fiber restraining me against hitting a bitch should she get out of line. You understand? That's it. 
What can I do to make you feel as cold as your bucket of fudge ripple with walnuts? Yuck. No wait. Uh. Hmm. Uh, Dripperswar says yes. Don't forget car stereos. But Ain't that that's a the looting part. Let's this. make sure that you, you know, don't die horribly. Yet. To ask for that tonight, considering that's not a very popular item, I have really got to wonder why you thought I might have some. Explosives. Fun stuff. I love There's having the ability to command now. people. I may have something. Yes, but the, the thing is, it's still going to end up in a fight, so you just wasted blood. Hey, look over here. Sure, okay. I got some stuff that'll do the trick. Astrolite. It's like TNT's bigger, meaner cousin with a prison record. I don't like keeping the stuff around too dangerous. So I'll let you have it for a little less than the going rate. Uh, Mercurio? Yeah, we know him. Do number three. We know That's Mercurio, what I did. Don't we? How is our friend Mercurio? Is that a fact, Jack? Damn. I tell you what. If you can get out of here without a bullet through your face, I'll let you kill And now combat. You're going to probably want to blood boil it, or you're going to want to... <clears throat> Blood purge as soon as uh, this starts, and then grab the one of them. Down. Get blood strike ready, because you're going to need it. Bugs. Now here's where you gotta be careful because uh yeah. Blood Strike is very helpful here because then you can just you know, do that and then get some blood back. And now you have a gun. Which you can equip in the inventory. Yes, this game has some very interesting books. Not everyone's dead, unfortunately. Headshots naturally do uh, more damage, as you can see. Knife and a baseball bat. No reason to go out the uh, back door now. He's dead. <laughs> Snoof can't forgive all the powers and the weapons and just punch them all. Fun fact, if uh, if you do this quote unquote peacefully, mm -hmm. uh, okay, well two things. One, there's actually an Easter egg on the television screen. If you go back into the living room. Oh, the living room. Mm -hmm. That's Vampire the Masquerade, which game? Uh, this one. Oh! Meta. Yep. That is, uh, yeah, that's the uh, early screenshot of the game. Uh, as I was saying, if you, uh... If you do things a certain way, um... It, say, for example, uh... If you try to do this peacefully, um... Then eventually, if you come back, Mercurial will have all these guys killed. Hmm. Yeah, so I'm just saving Mercurio some time. Yep. I need to feed on something. Oh, wait, I have blood bags! Yep, basically go into your inventory and use it. Mmm. Blood. I'm just making sure that nothing is unstealable, unpawnable, untakeable. Alright, we're good. Obviously, don't go about the back unless you want to deal with the dog again, which got you killed the last time. Can we not talk about Doggo? <laughs> yes, I know. Kato does not like Doggo. Kato does not like Doggo. Oh, no, I do like dogs. I'm not anti-dog. <laughs> it's just, you know, Doggo no like Kato. Alrighty. Congratulations. You've survived. It only took two attempts. Yeah, as a... Uh... As Derpasaur said, these those these guys can also jump you later, depending on how you play and who you side with. 
I murdered them all. We should be fine. Yep. We should be fine, right? Sup? How far into this game have you played before? You see what I just did? Okay. <laughs> so you ha okay, good. Because there's a part that I think you'll uh you'll really get an enjoyment out of, okay. and I'm not gonna help you through it because I want you to enjoy the full breadth of it. All right. So I've got the thing. You don't need to talk to these guys Alrighty. for anymore now. Now you just can return to Mercurio and uh, give him his drugs. Do some things. Oh, we should get him some painkillers. Hmm. Where do we get painkillers? Where's the Eckerds around here? Is Eckerd still a thing? Does anyone remember Eckerds? Stoofkin said, can they? I always wound up killing them no matter what I tried. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much what I did because usually they were jerks. And Listen. let's be honest, it's just easier to kill them. Also, Plus, you get a gun early on. Also, I was going to point out, they also give drugs to people. And not the nice drugs like weed. We're talking the bad drugs like okay, but like heroin and meth. Dr. Roxo would be very disappointed. Oh. I mean, to be fair, Derp, this is a, uh, this is a two, this is a 16-year-old game, so. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Look at that blood feel splatter. I mean, I won't necessarily read it off, but feel free to say it. Yo! Mercutio, you Hello, dead? Merc Hello, Mercurio. He's not dead yet. Though you can't actually get him painkillers too. Great. Oh, it was painful. Did you get my money back? Yes. Oh, your life I might have to buy some new kidneys with this. Kidneys do not cost two hundred and fifty dollars. Trust me, kidneys are worth a lot more. That astrolite, twice as powerful as TNT. Instant demolition. Be on the other side of the world when you engage that timer. You need to make some place disappear. A warehouse. It looks to be a. Why do I gotta do this? There's a guy. I never met him, but I heard a lot about him. His name is Tom. Third drum Tom. It's one of you types. If there's anyone who knows more than me about this city, it's him. Fortunately, Tom's hiding out of the moment. Tom's laying low because of Therese. Therese Foreman, you know her? Anyway, word is Therese and Tom are feuding. I don't know the details. My takes that Tom thinks he's about to get whacked, so he's gone underground for Therese calls it off. But if you want to put that warehouse into orbit anytime soon, you're going to have to get Therese to call off the feud. And where can I find her? Being a sister, Jeanette. Oh! Some freaky customers freak with that place. I but know of this. I know of the, I know of Jeanette. Oh, oh lord. They thought, oh. Jeanette's the one that looks like the Harley Quinn looking lady on the cover, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm a little aware of her. She's the woman around here. Power player. Nice looking bro for a dead chick, but uh, personality like stone. Uh, Who exactly? Jeanette. Therese. Therese I don't like, but I can respect her. Jeanette's different. I don't know what to make of her. She's a little, you know, in the head. I don't know. Therese is, well, like you. I would think so is Jeanette, but I hear rumors about her. Uh -huh. Call me old-fashioned, but uh, I just can't talk about that kind of thing in front of a woman. Oh yeah, I am a woman. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of thing? What kind of thing? We talking about town bicycle kind of thing? Ah, call me old-fashioned. Right. Jeanette got a body built for bedrooms. And I got close acquaintances says they conquered that territory. But I asked the main man, and he says, you types, you know, can't or don't or do that kind of thing. Anyway, whatever she is, I hear Jeanette's a wild girl. Who exactly? Uh, I don't know him myself. Like we're just getting all the lore out. Local legend. Me and Therese seem to be contenders for this city. He's crafty. Smart guy. I haven't heard anything bad about him. Who exactly? Yourself. What's to tell? I can get anything anyone wants at any time. I'd say it's my calling. Until the astrolite. It wasn't anything I couldn't handle. Well, back east, some shit went down. Big Apple can't go back. I hate him. But what are you gonna do? Move to the Midwest? I mean, I'm just saying, there's more to life than LA and NY. There's right. the Midwest, there's Florida, the Kentucky. Once a month I get fed vampire blood. 
Heals me faster. Makes me stronger than a normal human. I don't age. By looking at me, you wouldn't realize it, but I'm almost 60. Mm. Specifically? Snoofkin, this game packs in as almost as much info as Redemption. Yes, yes, it does. Oh, God, does it. Well, I mean, to be fair, this is... This is actually pretty good, given the time period and such like that, and how much they had to work with. Like, they had, what, 18 months, maybe? Mm. So get this game out? Like, that's pretty good, all things considered. Especially all right. considering how much information they packed in. Alrighty, I have three experiences. It, it is one of my it is one of my favorite games. Alright. Now where do we go? Well, I will let you do a bit of exploring. Keep in mind there is more to this city. Yes. This is this is only the first half of the city. I went to the clinic. Hi. Oh god, old lady. Horn stash. Please wait your turn and you'll be seen. Uh, lovely evening. We'll go through the back way then. There's always a back way in these places, right? Right. Why am I humming Christmas music? Uh, because Christmas is in five days. Why'd you have to remind me of my inevitable doom? Don we now our gay apparel. Uh, Snoofkin, the eyes in this game always creep me out. Eh. Sup? You next up for the needle? Welcome to the blood bank. Your donation could save a life, you know. Oh, but isn't it a little late for altruism? I don't think you're here to give blood at all. I don't buy it, Betty. I bet you're here to take blood. Am I right? Um, you offering? Right down to business. None of this said, uh, especially the Nosferatu eyes, that's really weird. Very refreshing to find a decisive customer. I respect that. So, what would it be? How much? If you have to ask... Source or at least some player. Yep. Ninety-four bucks for blood. One hundred and eighty bucks for blood. Yep. Fuck that. I I, I obviously don't recommend uh, doing so. Yep. You can buy blood from the guy at the blood bank. You mean the, the freaking robber? The. Bl <laughs> <laughs> because you know you're going to be spending any of the money otherwise. Oh, I can spend it on guns. Yep. Uh, for the most part, you really won't have to do much in the clinic right now. Oh, right. And I doubt... But isn't there, like, some lady that you can give blood to or something? There is a quest line. There is a quest that will take you here, but for the time being, you don't really have to do anything gotcha. for the moment. I'll just go to the asylum and talk to the crazy lady. Wait. I want to get the best option out of it. What's the best option? Uh, that requires a lot of finagling and also a strategy guide. Grabs you. Hi, strategy guide. <laughs> Didn't you know you would also be my strategy guide? Ew, people are throwing up. Why are there people throwing up? Oh, it's almost like it's a stra almost like it's a hospital. <sighs> hmm. How's the strategy guide going, strategy guide? Give me a second. You impatient. Uh... Ooh, computing. Ah, oh, it's locked. So, this is known as the, well, the Jeanette slash Tourette uh, guide to get the uh, the best outcome. Alrighty then. Okay, so basically, um, hold on. You I'm... need at least, you need at least seduction too. Uh, hold on. Go into the alley. Go into the alley. Come on, go into an alley. I am hungry. You should be able to find uh, people in the alley already if you uh, look. That's the alley to your house, though. I have an idea. Because keep in mind, this is the only the first half of the city. If you go through the alleys, you'll go through this. Uh, you'll find the second half of the city. I'm just waiting for potential marks. 
there's probably already somebody down there. Because nope. there are several alley paths. Okay, good point. Because, no, 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 no. keep in mind, the alley uh, goes uh, forward and then curves. Gotcha. Sneaking, 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 sneaking. Ha 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 ha, dead hobo. Ah, there we go. That was not as filling as I was hoping for. I mean, it's a hobo. Good point. This place will be important later. Don't worry about it for the now. This alleyway sucks. Hey, look, there's the uh, first grate to the sewer if you're playing a Nosferatu. Oh, goody. I've always wanted to be in a sewer. Anyway. Um, how long have I been streaming? Uh, about two hours. Damn. Two and a half hours, actually. Damn, again. Lady, why do you look so combative? L lady, dude. Do I have blood on my face? <laughs> Probably because of those guys. Uh, anyway, go down the alley and you'll uh, go to your first uh, location. The asylum? Oh. This one? Mm -hmm. Oh, oh. Um, Either. I yep. Because like I said, the city is split in two. Uh, you basically have the alleys that split the city in two. Right. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm basically doing a conga line with the prostitutes. Well, one of them's a regular person. He's prostituting himself to the prostitute. Oh! Bum! <clears throat> I was just kidding! I didn't <laughs> think she would actually! This is an M-rated game, so you shouldn't be surprised at stuff like that. Yeah, it's from 2004! Where usually M-rated meant violence. Yeah, well... Uh, Snoofkin said, you two are an adorable, or, not adorable, you two are an awesome duo. Sure, let's go with that. Yeah, duo. Yeah. Anyway, uh, nice night out, huh? yes, it is a so, nice night out, chuh. I do, in fact, like, uh, like I said, I love the atmosphere of this game. Is it safe to feed? Yes, it is. Uh, <laughs> yep, go and do it. There we go. Okay, so what's my seduction looking like? You need at least seduction too. <sighs> seduction, seduction. Which you have. You have seduction too. I don't wear. <laughs> Look under your feet. Covert. Oh no, sorry, public. Seduction too. Oh, I do. Also, be right back. Uh, okay. Talk about the weather. Nice weather we're having in Florida. <laughs> Just talk about how hurricanes are made. I don't know. <laughs> uh, fun fact, in the New World of Darkness, uh, there was a book for vampires called... Uh, oh, what the heck was it called? Of course I'd forget. But, yeah, you need persuasion for it. I actually have a guide for it, because there was someone who was kind enough to make a guide. But... Uh, one of the vampire books actually dealt with uh, New Orleans and talked about how, you know, it would be really bad if a natural disaster were to hit New Orleans and how that would affect the vampire populace. Then comes Hurricane Katrina! <laughs> <laughs> and again, if, like I said, if anybody has any questions, feel free to ask. I will answer them to the best of my ability. Well, regarding this game and the setting at large. One thing that makes me sad is this game really doesn't uh, hint at uh, mage stuff, but it's the World of Darkness, so that stuff is around.
Um, Derposaurus. Uh, well, to be fair, there are vampires pretty much in every major city. Um, New Orleans is a major city, after all. Uh, there's vampires in... Uh, yeah, like I said, there's vampires in every major city. Um, it's usually, like, recommended that there's... If you were to design a city for vampires, it's usually recommended that you go with, like, one vampire for every, like, 10,000 people. That's usually the best, so that they can survive without being noticed. Um, World of Darkness also had books like uh, the By Night series, so you had, like, Montreal By Night. Uh, I think they had London By Night. I know they had L.A. by night at some point. World of Darkness had a lot of books. Not as much as D&D 3.5, but... Yeah, they had Berlin by night. Uh, let's see what else. They had Chicago by night. Well, yeah, like, that's the thing. Because of the fact that it's vampires, so... Like I said, uh, the more a vampire, like, embraced, the further on down the line, um, the inbloods were going to start happening because that's how further away from Cain they are. And the 14th and 15th, and to some degree, it was theorized that the 16th generation where a vampire would be indistinguishable from humans. Though it is kind of funny how uh, it was believed that the uh, the rise of the Thin Bloods, the time of the Thin Bloods, would uh, bring about uh, would be a sign of the end of the uh, up Gehenna and such like that. Turns out it was actually correct. Though the problem is, is the fact that it wasn't the Thin Bloods themselves popping up. It's the fact that uh, Thin Bloods were being killed in droves, and well, that didn't lead to good things. Uh, oh, New Orleans by Night was also a book. This came out in 1994. Uh, uh. Ow! Hello? Welcome back. I was just explaining how uh, in World of Darkness they had a lot of uh, books by night, which were essentially setting books for... Uh, the various locations, like they had Berlin by night, uh, Montreal by night, New Orleans by night, uh, Ven I know they had uh, Chicago by night, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. <sighs> so, should I invest in anything? Uh, for the moment, you're fine. Uh, you will eventually need Persuasion 4, but that's not something you need right this second. Okay, where's Persuasion? Uh, Charisma and Scholarship, okay. I mean, I can get some right now. Charisma is four. Uh, what's Scholarship? For your points. Uh, three! I would recommend putting it in the Scholarship, then, because... Oh. But then I could do Charisma and four, and that makes my Persuasion four. I mean, that's up to you. Well, we need Persuasion 4 if we want the best option. Yeah, later. You don't need it right this second. Okay, scholarship then. Okay. Yep. Alright. Now what? Ooh, the diner! Yep. Is there a, is this a salt and pepper diner? Can I play what new, What's New Pussycat 14 times in a row and then put it in one... It's not unusual? No. Nope. Uh, fun fact. This won't come up in this play, but if you're playing as a Nosferatu and you go into the diner, if you talk to the lady behind the diner, you'll actually give her a heart attack and she'll die right there. Doesn't that break the masquerade? Yes. Hey, look! Birds! Hmm. Should we go to the yep. diner or should we do the asylum? It's up to you. Uh, there's also a uh, guy with a sign walking around who is spouting doom and gloom. Oh, yeah, I think uh, I overheard him. There's also the Bail Bondsman nearby, if you want to pick up some more side quests. Foxy Boxes. Yep. Can't go in. So, at one point, I, uh, m I played a Vampire the Requiem game that was essentially taking place as a sequel to this game. Uh -huh. And the Foxy Boxes was essentially a bar. 
Aww. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sup, dude? The end is Though here. Though it's in a bar in this game. Yep. Which is funny because he's not actually incorrect. The end times were b coming. Bail bonds. Oh, look. There's the bail bondsman. Let's get some more missions that can give us XP and make us powerful and wise and beautiful. I don't care. I need to find him so he can find him. It's 250 okay, yes. my money on the line here. Look, look, I'll talk to you later, okay? Let me know if you hear anything about Ethan. <laughs> Sup? Hello there. How you been? Hi. Welcome to Kilpatrick 24 Hour Bail Bonds. My name's Arthur Kilpatrick. How can I help you? Um. Uh... Yep, sure do. I'm a third generation bondsman. Got a few employees, but I handle most every aspect of the business. I don't see any employees, Arthur. I gotta have a few other bondsmen to keep the place open 24 hours. Plus a bounty hunter. I pull the graveyard shift because that's when all the crazy shit happens in Santa Monica. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, he's not incorrect about that last part. You betcha. I used to do some bounty hunting back in the day. Are we basically Make cat the bounty hunter? Of brass balls. <laughs> Missy, but can't it takes be. balls to be a good bounty hunter. Yep, damn good. His name's Carson, and he's great at what he does when he wants to do it. I can't seem to find him now, though. He's pissing me off, to be honest. I need him to go find someone. Maybe I could find him for you instead? Well, I don't feel right cutting Carson loose just yet. We go way back. I knew his father, too. Tell you what, since I'm stuck here, why don't you go look for him? Just real quick. I'll pay you for your time. I could. Great, great. I suppose the first place you should look is his apartment in Santa Monica Suites. Apartment 1, I think it is. Maybe you'll find something there to let you know where he's got himself to. Here's a key card. That'll let you in. Sure, honey. What is it? Don't call me honey. <laughs> yeah, they saying hey, there was a murder down mark. by yeah. the pier just the other day down in Long so, Beach. Uh... Just vicious. Tore him up. They're saying it's a serial killer. Well, typically when things like this happen, the cops ratchet up the patrols and start hauling in more suspicious types. Could be good for me. Sure, honey, what is it? Again, don't call me honey. I, 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 the guy thinks that the Betas and the Andromedas, I don't want to know what those are, are fighting each other in space, and people are crazy. Okay, so where's the suites I need to go to? Okay, so the, uh, suites is, uh, your apartment. <laughs> Basically where your apartment is. Wow. You'll be visiting there several more times. Um, by the way, the, uh, the fun part is, is the fact that where he's talking about, like, the alien stuff, uh, there's not really aliens in the world of darkness. Oh, thank goodness, that's the one thing they don't have. Ish. Ish. It's <laughs> getting into the mage, like, it, it gets kind of into mage lore, which is my wheelhouse, so I don't want to go into it here because we'll be here all night. Please, I do not want this to be a 30,000 hour video game. Uh, back to the way you came, by the way. That's the pawn shop. Oh, yeah, sorry. It's in Mercurio's uh, location, I believe. It was either in Mercurio's location or yours. It's been a while since I played this. I believe it's in Mercurio's because these are, you know, the fancy place. It's apartment one. Okay. That's three. That's two. That's four. Who numbered this place? I want to shoot them. Sup? Boom, bitch. I'm in here. Yo! Oh, look, a glowing object on the ground. Hello, glowing object. Check, check. Is this thing recording? Yes. God, I hate these things. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, the uh, McGee case is getting weirder all the time. I found where Steal the book, because it will be useful later. I will read the book. Can I read the book? Read the book later? Read the book Hiding, later. And I saw some really creepy stuff down there. There was uh, no sign of McGee. I'm gonna follow up on another lead I got too. I'm stealing. I the files That's wrong, her. isn't it? Uh, this is Carson's. Who cares? Out. You're a vampire. Yeah, that sounds stupid. So wait, what was that saying? I mean, if you click on it again, you can hear it again. Okay. 
This time, pay attention. What? Check, check. Is this thing recording? God, I hate these things. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, the uh, McGee case is getting weirder all the time. I found where he's been hiding, and I saw some really creepy stuff down there. There was uh, no sign of McGee. I'm gonna follow up on another lead I got, too. I updated the files on the computer. Uh, this is Carson signing off. Man, that sounds stupid. All right, where's the damn post-it notes? This is the most high-res image in all of the game. <laughs> Damn! I believe, I believe it's a five, so you won't eight. be able to. Yeah, eight. So you won't be able to pick lockpick that for a very long time. All right. Oh, for the love of God. Amelia. All right. Home. Okay. Location. Hiding in the tattoo parlor in Santa Monica. Okay. Key. Don't forget the key to the tattoo parlor. It's on top of the TV. Okay. TV. 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 Yoink. All right, we've learned. What have we learned? Things. But is it important things? I mean, yes. Has there been no maid to clean up the blood mess? <laughs> so to the tattoo place, which is over there. Oh goody, we get to kill people again. What the living fuck is that tattoo? What, what the, what is the... What the? I. I. Do you remember this is 90s, so. Even 90s tattoos looked better than this. I'm pretty um, sure you can also steal money out of the, uh, the cash register. Listen, unless these people are bad pe people. Creepy basement. Creepy. Link? Nope. Okay. Um. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Glowing paper. Gimbal's prosthetics. Okay. Do I need a note? This is the lead. Creepy. Okay. I'm sure it's fine. See, I don't feel like you're being truthful about that. <laughs> I don't know why. Okay, also this breaks so many sanitation rules. Okay. So, now you have to go to uh, the end of the alley. If I die, I'm haunting you. You're already dead. If I re-die, I'm haunting you. Eh. Wait, end of the alley. Which alley? There's like 20. Uh, it's the other way. This way? Oh! Remember, the, remember that area where you fed off the bomb? 
Which bomb? Uh, the one in Santa Monica. It was down a path. Uh, go to the right. Back, 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 turn around. Mm. It's like trying to hurt a cat. Have you ever hurted a cat? It's fun. Yes. Go straight. Okay, gimbals, prosthetics. Uh, ring the buzzer. I'm gonna need to prepare myself for deadly battle, aren't I? Hello! Welcome to Gimbal's Prosthetics and Medical Supplies. You are here about the missing Mr. McGee, am I right? Uh, I'm gonna mute myself oh, for this part. Yes, forgive me, my name is Gimbal. Stand Why are you Gimble. muting yourself for this? Oh, oh, dear. Let us dispense with formalities. You can call me Stan. Me? Oh, I'm just trying to make things a little easier for those who find themselves uh, disadvantaged. Giving a helping hand, you might say. A leg up. <laughs> Bloody clever, that one. I'm face palming. Mm? Oh, oh, right, right. Mr. McGee. Well, as I told you, he was supposed to show up a few days ago for a photography session. Reference for my work, that kind of thing. No, he didn't. Earlier, I had asked him to take a few pictures of himself for my perusal. A sort of, um, resume, you might say. This guy's... And that was the last I'd heard of him. Carson? No. Uh, I don't think so, anyway. Oh, oh, look. I know I've got some information on Mr. McGee back in my files. Do you want me to try and dig it up? Don't great. mention it. Just wait here a moment, and I'll be right along. Oh, you have such beautiful arms. I absolutely must have them. What? 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 He wants my arms! Ark? Yes? Is he some psycho that's gonna take my par body part? I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, anyway, the waiting room. I hate this music. Go through the door. <sighs> this isn't fucking creepy at all. Someone get me a priest. His dad was a clown. The... The... Ark! Yes? What the fuck? <laughs> oh, he has blood. Wait, why does he have blood? Ark? Keep going. Ark! I... What is this freaking... Oh, crap. What's the name of that one guy who was used for inspiration in a lot of horror? Ark? Keep going. What is this bullshit? What is this Ed Gein bullshit? What is this Ed Gein bullshit? What is this mega Ed Gein bullshit? You're having way too much fun about my uncomfortableness. <laughs> Where the frack is this fucker? Gotta get me out of here, man. This guy's a freaking nut job. Who, Gimbal? Yeah, Gimbal. 
That guy's been taking pieces off of me and McGee over here for the last three days. He's crazy, man. Freaking crazy. And now a boss fight. Ow. Congratulations. Yeah, I just used blood purging. Mm-hmm. Thanks, man. Oh, that You're was a, a bug. lifesaver. I wasn't sure I was gonna make it. I'm telling you, I've been on some weird cases, but this one takes the cake. Did I break the masquerade? Nope. Yeah, yeah, okay. that's me. How did you know? You did? Oh man, that's solid. I owe that guy big. I hope I can figure out a way to get him back for this. What? Oh no, man. No, no, no. Not for me anymore. Look at my hand. Gimbal took my trigger finger for a trophy. I'm all through with this business. I hate to leave Arthur in a lurch, but that's just the way it is. Damn. Thanks again. Don't worry. I'll take care of old Stumpy here. And he just runs away. Uh, I think he's dead, Jim. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, Gimbal. He's a, uh... Psycho? A psychopath. And, uh, yeah. So, um, as you can probably guess, Gimbal, uh... Basically had a uh, fetish for the human body, particularly limbs. By the way, uh, I mean, as you can figure, uh, he also just randomly decided to chop off his arm one day. Out of what? And, form? by the way, the, uh, the severed limb you just picked up is implied to be his. Oh, goody. So, yeah, I like this little quest because it shows that, uh, the supernaturals aren't the only creatures or individuals that are messed up in the world of darkness. Even regular people can be messed up. Oh, uh, you think? Yep. I'd love this- I also love how, uh, like, the music transitions from, uh, from, like, the lobby, and then when you come in here, it's just, like, it has a lot different, uh, more ambient music. Like, again, feel is very much a big point of this game. It's beautiful. Yeah. It is beautiful and great. I have a severed arm. Can I sell this? Uh, I don't believe you can, but you can sell everything out pretty much. Yeah. To the prawn shop! Mmm, prawn. So what have we learned today, kids? That humans are fucked up people. <laughs> Not just Thanks the supernatural monsters. What you need. Alright, here's what we got today. I cannot. Derpasaurus. Nice. The arm is the best weapon in the game. Yeah, if you're melee. Yeah, we're not melee. And while you're stalling, I should grab back. Was weird. Let's see. I'm back. Hi. We sold stuff and now we're going to talk to the bail bounds dude. And then we're going to start a small fire. We start the fire. What's shaking? 
Found Carson. What? Ain't coming back? What do you mean he ain't coming back? Man, that's a tough one. Bounty hunter ain't no good without his trigger finger. Well, hell, that really leaves me in hot water, boy. Gonna cost old Arthur real good. I got this guy with a sheet a mile long, put in on three warrants. His girlfriend put up with a bond, and now he missed the court date. I can't get in touch with either of them. Want a job? Well, it won't be much of a job since you ain't licensed and all, but until I can get me another bounty hunter, I need you to find out if this guy skipped town or what. Great, great, all right. The guy's name is Mike Durbin. Goes by the name Muddy. His girlfriend put up for his bond. She lives over there above Tripp's bond shop. Her name is Marion Murrieta, but I haven't been able to get in touch with her. Well, I wouldn't normally tell you this, but since you did help me out, trip down at the pawn shop. He's a little fried and paranoid, so we don't usually sell guns to anyone, but just tell him old Arthur sent you. We'll set you up, all right. Well, he was brought up on manslaughter charges years back, but he got acquitted. Since then, he's been in and out for this and that, small-time stuff mostly. Most recently, he was brought in as part of a big case on stolen auto parts. It's this big chop shop thing that's going on in Santa Monica. Been in the paper. That's right. Mary Ann Murrieta, in them crappy places above the pawn shop. Find out where the hell money is, where is he going, whatever. But be careful. You're not licensed, and if anything bad goes down, I don't know you. You hear me? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry about that. Uh, here you are. Thank you. All right, come back when you got some info. Thanks in advance. All right, so now we got to go back to the pawn shop and basically get guns available for me. Yay, guns! I'm surprised because I'm a female vampire. I'm not able to pretend to be a prostitute and kill Johns that way. You know what I mean? Uh, Derpsaurus, wait, the chop shop is from the tutorial? Uh, not really. Like, that chop shop is more for cars. Um, but yeah, this next part of the quest is pretty easy. Just go to, basically go around the, uh, side to uh, where your place is. And... Thanks for coming back. What you need? No, Selling some oh, more stuff it, already? I told you that. <laughs> nope. All right. Picking up weaponry? Look, yeah. I can't have every Jesse and Jamie off the street you know, coming in here and asking about this. It's not cool. I'm not exactly licensed, and these weapons aren't precisely legal. Catch my drift here. Look. No. I appreciate your business, and I'll sell to you, but don't tell anyone else, okay? Keep your nose clean. All right. Come take a look, then. All he has is 30 caliber rounds. I wouldn't sell the, the ammunition, obviously. No, but... you mean buy the ammunition. Yep. Uh, you could sell the baseball bat and the knife, so that way you can, you can pick up more later. Yeah. Although the knife is nice. Well, I guess then get rid of, like... I mean, it's more or less just a few things, so that way, because your inventory will be cluttered. Obviously, as you can see, he, uh... He won't buy the, uh, used arm. Oh, I wonder why. <laughs> Plus, it is kind of amusing, uh, stealth killing someone with a severed arm. But, I mean, you do have $350, so buying as much ammo as possible is pretty nice. Our influence grows! Uh, Cassid31 said, didn't know you you streamed. Have a follow. Ah, uh, thank you, uh, Cassio33, 31. It's Cass, it's Casada 31 Hello, Casada 31 Yes, I do stream. I just don't do it often. Uh-oh. 
Uh oh. We're good. Did it? Did it crash? We're good. You should probably you should probably save just in case. Well, I will be leaving the building, which is an auto save. Last time I checked. Fine, fine, fine. Yeah. Yeah, I guess that is the one thing that's nice about this game. Yeah. But I'd say we should probably finish up this quest and then call it because you don't want to do the uh, crazy lady. Tariq stuff. Well, that's because the fact that it'll go through. Uh, that's like four hours of content. It's not 31. Oh, hi, Automata. I haven't seen you in like three minutes. <laughs> All right, we'll finish this quest and then I will go back to trying to draw a thumbnail for this video. Which means I need a I need reference pictures of you, Ark, so I can make sure I draw you right. Uh. What? Well, I don't know. Uh, oh, I have a I have a mailbox. Yes, you do. Nice. Notice how the uh, the names, uh, Kassad said, and make sure to wear the furry suit. Probably referring to me. I don't have a furry suit. Marinetta. Okay, Marinetta. What number was it? 507. Thank you. 506. 505. 507. See, this is logical. Uh, is this legal? I mean, who's going to tell you otherwise? Uh, I need an... Okay, fine. Blood buff. Though you might have to boost your uh, uh, lock picking by one. Fine. I mean, to be fair, you'll get the experience back for it, so... Okay, dexterity or security? Security! Security. I mean, it's cheaper. It's literally, like, three points. Plus, you'll be using it a lot, so it's not like it's not going to come in handy. Oh, for the love of God. Ooh, the blood buff ran out just as you were picking it. Oh, I hate when that happens. I'm going to need to drink blood again. Thank you. Let me in. Hola, Candy Graham. Hello? Housekeeping. Hey, Mayor. It's Mike. Look, I gotta head downtown for a few days, maybe longer. If Reno calls, tell him to meet me down there. We got something to discuss, apparently. I'll be at Milton's place in the Skyline Lofts 2A. Sorry, baby. I'll explain everything. Kassad <laughs> said, uh, very poor decorating. One star. I can do better decorating in House Slipper. Okay, so we need to go to Heard Muddy headed downtown, so we need to go to the Skyline Apartments. Uh, you can't do anything about that, so right now all you can do is return to Kilpatrick and let him know. Alright. Keep the door open. Kick the door. Kick. Headbutt the door. Ow, that hurts. Let's see, we gotta go to Kilpatrick. Uh, no. Bitch, what'd you just say to me? I will eat you! I want to see if he goes on this alley. Damn it. Usually those aren't the alleys that they'll go down. They'll usually, if people go down alleys, it'll be the two connecting the, ci the city from its other half. Uh... I mean, to be fair, it makes sense considering ah. you're not going to see them go down a, dark, a random alley. Ooh, great. Kassad said, dinner time, have fun. Yep. The greats, again, are for if you want to go through the sewers, which you don't have to at the moment. At the moment. I don't, know if, I don't remember if you have to. I, I, it's been a while since I don't remember if you have to go to the sewers in Santa Monica. No hiding your true face to the oh, look. End time prophecies. It's just like New York. Hola. Hey there, hot stuff. You're not allowed to call me that either. So what you hey, he's paying you. What does it matter? Uh, I have dignity. But he has money. 
And considering right, the fact then. that all he's doing is calling I'll you a name. Call in some bounty hunters to help me find Muddy and a couple of other jumpers. Thanks for all your help. Oh, right, right, right. Sorry about that. Here you are. Thank you. See you around, man. If you ever find yourself or a loved one locked up, please call. Oh. All right, so that's the end of the quest. Yep. Um, this qu well, technically, it's not the end of the quest because uh, once you eventually be able to go downtown, you can follow this up, but that's not going to be for a while. Pizza. I do not want to know why he's just keeping that open. Like, this is such a health hazard. Like, he's keeping a pizza wide open. He's got those slices just hang out in the open like that. That's the same with the donuts. Like, and, and, and there's the more donuts are going to... The donuts are gonna stale. I'm uh, pretty sure that can of whatever is clearly rusted. Tomato soup. Yeah, that's clearly rusted. And look, more pizza. All right, so we're gonna it's, we're gonna end it for tonight. Tonight, yep. day, night, potato, afternoon, sandwich. I don't know where I was going with that. Uh, save game. Thank you everyone for watching. Don't do anything stupid. Um, good night. Day, afternoon, I don't care. And to those who find themselves in these most final of nights, a good evening to you. Don't break the masquerade. And please, have a pleasant night. And don't break the masquerade.